Good evening and welcome to Drakenheim. This is the Dungeon Dudes weekly Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition live stream campaign. My name is Monty Martin, running this campaign as the Dungeon Master. And I'm Kelly McLaughlin, playing Sebastian Crow, the half-elf shadow sorcerer. And we're joined today by our good friends. Jill Denitis, playing Veo Senya, the tabaxi gloomstalker ranger rogue. And Joe O'Gorman, playing Pluto Jackson, the human battle master. Thank you for joining us once again. If you're just tuning in for the very first time, Kelly and I post new videos every Thursday on our YouTube channel where we cover everything Dungeons and Dragons, including advice for dungeon masters and guides for players. Check us out at youtube.com slash dungeon dudes. You can also join us Tuesday nights when we record the campaign live on Twitch. Check us out from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern time at twitch.tv slash dungeon underscore dudes. You can also watch the video episodes of the show on YouTube. Of course, don't forget to take a look at the links below for our Teespring store where you can get all of your favorite Dungeon Dudes merch like Troll Killer, yes, 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 and of course, the Dungeon Dudes logo. Take a look at bit.ly slash Dungeon Dudes merch. With that, let's return to the ruins. Drakenheim is no more. Struck by a falling star, the city bathed in eldritch fire on that woeful eve. The tumultuous aftermath brought chaos, families torn asunder, and a kingdom shattered. Fifteen years later, monsters stalked the haunted streets of Drakenheim. Caught amidst rival factions struggling to rule the rubble, three unlikely partners venture forth into the crumbling city in search of riches, renown, and revenge. Welcome to Castle Draken. Ancient and imperial, sitting atop the high spire cliff overlooking the city, the keep of Castle Draken has been an unapproachable prize at the heart of the ruined city. Our heroes, when we, last we left them, have ventured deep into the bowels of this forsaken place, flying over the walls and landing in the steward's tower. They have taken a secret passage from the outer walls deep into the heart of the keep. Traveling down this dark and winding passageway, one veil that you remember from your childhood, the very same passage that you would sneak through to sneak scraps from the kitchen. For on the other side of this passage, after traveling several hundred feet, you emerge on the other side of a large wine cask in the wine cellar of Castle Dragon. My dad is obviously leading us not out of here, but towards where he is. Are you talking to us? We're still like way back here. Like <laughs> I go to turn around away. and I'm like, oh, oh, you're, oh, you're not there. Okay. I, I walk into the light. Clunk, clunk, like, clunk, guys, clunk. Guys, get down here. It's great wine. Yeah, it's been aging for over 15 years. It's phenomenal. It's probably got some magical properties to it. You probably don't want to actually ingest that. Does the uh, the wine actually age, though? Because doesn't all food stay, like, unspoiled? Whatever really? it is, the wine is utterly delicious. Um, you, um, <laughs> you lo looking over the labels of the, of the bottles, these are the King's Reserve wines assembled from across the world some of the finest vineyards through caspia illyria and lands beyond are assembled in this wine cellar you um and this is on the this is not on the steward side this is on the castle dragon side i come out and i'm just you're in the midst of a large room that has several large casks of wine perhaps <laughs> also other forms of alcohol and several, and then the other shelves are lined top to bottom with wooden wine racks. 
Um, each of them is filled w- with all the wine bottles presented outwards with their labels like front faced perfectly. Mm-hmm. And in the middle of the room um, is um, a large table with a deep red tablecloth set over it and a pair of chairs and several glasses. And there's an empty bottle of wine knocked over on the table and sprawled o- uh, sprawled over on one of the chairs is a man who has just stabbed into his own wrists and is lying there dead. Like freshly dead? I, I, I go over and I start, it's hard to tell in Drakenheim, but I start to try to examine the body to see like if there's any signs that he's been here for a while. Well, how much does, blood is on the ground? Does blood dry in Drakenheim? The, the body doesn't blood decompose. is wet and slick on the ground around him. Um, Veo, um, you, uh, you recognize this man. Um, this is, uh, the, uh, body of, uh, Josephin, who was one of the royal wine tasters. <sighs> who was this? Maybe it was so good he had to kill himself. One of the royal s- servants that used to taste the wine and essentially be responsible for this room but there was a job <laughs> of okay. tasting right. wine and you got he, did he get paid to do this probably he a, probably had a, a lot much schooling and, and tutelage in the area of wine I mean you want to study magic you could have chosen wine I didn't want to study. okay all right magical all right. wine um, and I, I go up to him and I feel for his pulse he is very dead shoot okay <laughs> There seems to be an opening, as, though, as you, uh, Sebastian. <laughs> yeah. um, as you go to feel for his pulse, um, you jingle the body, and there's a jingling of keys. Oh. I jingle them louder. <laughs> they jingle. Oh, wow. I search, and I grab the keys. Okay. Um, guys, the, this is obviously... Something's going on here. Obviously, people don't just bleed out for no reason. This blood is fresh. On the opposite wall there is a single heavy door leading into here and you can see that um, one of the wine racks and several of the barrels have been pushed up against the door and a bar has been set down across across it and the door appears to be, be locked and parts of it buckle but it but it has been stuck closed so kind of barricaded from the yeah. inside I want to listen against the door um, I know that I mean, being my favorite area of the castle, obviously, the kitchen is should be on this floor as well as a few other things. But we're kind of in the, the basement area of the castle. And I would be really cautious about wandering too far where we can't know where an exit is. Do we go through the kitchen to get to the throne room? Our, our, our objective, just so I'm clear is we need to find the throne room and make sure that we have a path to it. And we need to know how to get there easily and safely. Well, I mean, so we're in the basement right now. Yeah. There's five levels of the castle. The throne room is on the fourth floor. Okay. So we need to be able to get up there. Now, there are staircases around that that can lead us up there, but I don't know how clear or how easy that journey is going to be. I'd, I'd... take cautiously that I mean we saw minotaurs coming in they're probably not the only creatures here that would probably take us on in a fight if they found us I can try I think yeah let's yeah, what do you think yeah it, it was barricaded for a reason and it but if it's the only way out it's the way we have to go yeah um I go up to the door and listen um, you can hear there are sounds coming from the other side. Give me a perception check. Twenty one. You hear the speaking of guttural voices. Speaking a language you don't understand. And once in a while, every few minutes, you hear this strong sound of metal against wood and a wet, meaty slap. Are they speaking under common? 
listening at the door, no, they're not. Darn. Sounds Boy, like a... Why did I learn that language? Sounds like a butcher shop out there. Can you send your familiar through? Can you be invisible? Uh, the answer to both of those is no. If we Can crack open the jam door... jam it through the like, keyhole or something? Crowley, you want to be jammed through a keyhole? <laughs> That's a no? I heard. If we if we open the door a crack, though, I can send them out. Do we have any more gaseous form uh, potions? Yeah. Yeah? Do oh! You sold for this? I feel like I, like I want to save those for a special occasion. Okay. They're a great escape card. Yeah, true. Um, and this is the only door in the... Like, from the way we came. From the way you came, yes. Like, we could either go back yeah. or go through. Okay. Yeah. Guys, just open it a crack. I can send Crowley out. Okay. Um, yeah. Can we do so as quietly as possible? I don't I know mean, how quiet this will be because we're so on the door. But gently take the the barrier off. Okay. And and just 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 enough that it's off of the like it's not stopping. Okay, the give door me a dexterity the- check. No. <laughs> <laughs> Can I help? Can I help? Three, <laughs> three. So you lift it up. And with a clatter, you go to turn around and bang it against the door. And I go, whoops. And then I bang it again (laughs) against uh, Sebastian. Whoops. You knock me into the door and there's like a loud thud. There's a loud thud. thud. Ow. Um, I drop it and I pull out Ignatius. I I open the door a crack and I'm going to actually quickly minor illusion as far as I can down the hall. Another thud and bang. Okay. If you I can. Open you push the door um open. It opens inward. Okay. Um or no, it opens outward. Sorry, I'm wrong. So you open the door <laughs> and looking down the hallway, you see there's a hall with um that opens up into a large room and as you open the doorway, the smell of cooked meat assaults your nostrils. <sighs> this is old familiar. Refreshing. But you're <laughs> not sure if it's pork or what? Oh, like no. it's the really fact, hard. The fact to, that I'm not maybe sure. Maybe like venis- venison. Yeah. Mm. It's hard to place it exactly. I'm in. I mean. <laughs> Does it smell like when I cast Wall of Fire on a group of paladins? Not dissimilar. Mm. Um, Wait, what? (laughs) And as you look down the hallway, um, you can see there is this massive minotaur carrying a bloodied butcher's axe walking down the hallway slowly and methodically towards the sound that was, was created. And he... As you look out the door, he makes direct eye contact with you. <laughs> I, I creak the door closed, and I turn around slowly. What did you see, big guy? There's been an incident. Oh, no. And we need to hide. Everybody hide. Wait, Everybody, wait, wait, wait. It's hide and seek. Everybody hide. I take out my immovable rod, and I click it behind the door. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we don't have to hide. <laughs> no, it, 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 uh, Veo, it opens out. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I grab the rod and I put it down at foot level, hoping that he'll trip when he comes in. <laughs> and then uh, what's around? What's in this room? What? There's barrels, barrels, <laughs> casks, tons of bottles of priceless wine, a corpse, a table, a bowl of wine, some utensils. And the secret passage opens behind a barrel, right? Yes. All right. Get in the barrel. <laughs> We I all, go towards we the all barrel. Like shuffle back into the barrel and close it. Is there like a hole anywhere in the barrel? Yeah, that you could look out of. Okay. Like a spout okay. at the bottom. Like one of all us of is you like can upside make a stealth down. check. Great. 16. 11. 6. Okay. Clunk, 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 clunk. <laughs> okay. Actually, I don't want to go in the barrel. The heavy steps <laughs> come down the hallway. <laughs> And right. as all of you are j- trying to jam yourself in the barrel or decide whether or not the barrel uh, you want to go in the barrel, the door opens up and this hulking creature um, clad in 
mostly he's wearing this what looks like a cloth apron with a belt tied around and there's several heads dangling from the side and tools of butchery various butchers cleavers butchers knives um all in the pockets around him and he's carrying the axe and he looks at you with his bovine face that is all scarred and burned up one side um and he (laughs) says um something uh in the abyssal tongue and um he howls out and rushes towards you huh? roll for initiative ah! oh. now as he rushes there's a immovable rod at ankle height just to remind you did he notice ah. oh, Sebastian why I know oh, pretty brutal Really? All of us? <laughs> All of us. Okay. It's not great. Okay, so the door is I mean, open. The luck continues, Rob. I'm I'm still unsure. Summoning I'm dragon. I'm so unsure of whether I want to go in the barrel or not. That uh <laughs> Oh, I've got an idea. Hmm. Is your barrier still up? In theory. Yeah, it's been about ten minutes, right? No, it hasn't been ten minutes, maybe. Is it concentration? Why? If your plan involves the barrier, I need to know. <laughs> it might. What do we got for initiative? Nine. <laughs> what? <laughs> she yep. might be the highest. Okay. Five. I also <laughs> have nine. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to go first? Um. Yeah, actually, I'll go first. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> so as you're all trying to jam yourself into a barrel... <laughs> um, <laughs> I feel like we're the open door, you and there, there is a moment of like, like get it, get it, get it. What is almost confusion? Yeah. Mixed with hunger, as the the creature uh, crashes into the room through the door, past the table. Did it trip over the rod? What about the rod? Let's find out. The, if rod. the rod. In rod we trust. He does not trip over the rod. Oh. He, he steps right over it with a 17 on his dexterity saving throw. Steps right over the rod. <laughs> um, and, back. and he looks at um, the stringiest... He, he looks at the stringy one. You look too muscly. You look pretty good. Mm. So he brings his great axe down over Veo. Oh, okay. Hey! Uh, charging forward. Ow. Uh, getting a 24 to hit. Yes. So this is a charge attack with his gri- with uh, the the gore. Okay. So it is going to be 11 piercing damage plus. Yeah. So a grand total of 20 piercing damage, and you need to make a strength saving throw. <gasps> Five. Um, he knocks you prone, and you go crashing into the pile of barrels. Ouch. Oh. Ow. Veo. Yep. Ow. Um, just with this wide, uh, basically coming into the room, body checking you against the walls, almost checking you right out of the, uh, out out of the barrel and into the 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 room itself. And as he does so, um, there's a thunder of more hooves, <laughs> as two other creatures come rushing down oh, the hallway boy. and burst into the room but that is the entirety of their actions and this one's going to come rushing forward as well Pluto you're up um, he wasn't close enough for like a sentinel right um, yeah he would have triggered sentinel if because uh, okay. he attacked Veo and you were rapey I'm going to give him a I'm going to give him a big old hey <laughs> with Ignatius getting a 20 you have advantage to attack him because he attacked rec- recklessly. Oh. And it is a hit. Let's just check for a crit. No. Okay, okay. thank you. Um, and is Ignatius glowing with the cool golden glow? Yes. Ignatius now deals radiant damage instead of fire damage. Oh, baby. Ignatius, I love you. But he he might not talk back anymore. Get him. Get him. Okay. Uh, 18 damage. Nice. <laughs> Ignatius flares to life and cleaves deeply into 
uh, the side of this beefy, beefy minotaur. <laughs> and actually, I want him to make... No, you know what? It's not even worth it. Um, and I'm just going to start swinging at him. Nice. Whoa! Uh, like a 25. Also a hit. For... Um, uh, 18 damage. Nice. Again. So that's first attack. Oh, and I'm... First two attacks. Or the first one was Sentinel. Oh, yeah, Sentinel. Oh, my God. Yeah. 18? That's also a hit. Oh, this is max damage. Oh, baby. Eight, uh, uh, did you check for crits, though? Because you have advantage against him because he attacked recklessly. Not a crit. Okay. Um, 12, 20. 29 damage. Oh, my God. Second. <laughs> How do you do that? Is that I max got, damage? I got an 8, a 6, a 6, wow. and a plus 9. Nice. And then I'm going to hit him again. Get him. Oh, and check for crit. No. Uh, <coughs> another 20 damage. Uh, what happens? You've just torn him apart. Um, mm. So he charges in and just rails down on Veo. And as his blade is down, I'm going to like catch him low, bring up his blade, cut him once in the chest, and then just drive Ignatius right up through his head. <laughs> <laughs> and just finish him in just yeah. four quick hits. There's like the, this guttural splurge of blood and gore that vomits up from his mouth as you <laughs> disembowel him from the final blow and the, the corpse crumbles to the ground. And then I run at the next one Kay. and uh, I'm out of attacks, but I'm going to make him make a... Da -da -da -da. Oh, boo. <laughs> um, a 14. I actually only get a seven. So I want to push him backwards. Does he hit the immovable rod? Uh, it is on the ground, so sure. <laughs> he gets a natural 20 on the ground. Ah, so he he's so sturdy. <laughs> it's a different one. Okay, deal. Okay, Vale, you're up. What about Sebastian? Oh, no, sorry. I thought that I, I thought that Vale already went. That was her getting hit. I just get hit. <laughs> just, um, that wasn't her doing anything. I that was stand up on the barrels. <laughs> I take my <laughs> bow out and I'm just like rude. <laughs> and I'm a bit shaken, but I take my my shots using my dread ambusher. I'm gonna go for it. <gasps> oh nope. Uh, ten. Ten to hit. Yep. This guy right. Uh, and he is not attacked recklessly, so there's no advantage there. So it's a miss. I'm afraid. Okay. Second. Uh, 23. That's definitely going to do it. <laughs> there we go. First uh, shot funny. sails right past him. Basically, Pluto knocks him out of the path of the <laughs> shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, Veo. Um, 22 damage. Do you get sneak attack on that? Yep. Do I? Yep, because... Oh, think no, he, you, he got he pushed, pushed Yeah, no, pushed yeah, him I pushed the base. Yeah. Yep. Pardon me. Uh, third shot. Uh... 14. That is a hit. Nice. Uh, 24 damage. Nice. That leaves him bloodied. Yeah. Well done. Nice. And I... Peppered with shots. He stumbles backward and uh, butts up against the wall, almost tripping over the immovable rod, but not... <gasps> He's so <darn> in <laughs> He's And so I hang out on the barrels, standing my ground. Cool. Sebastian, you're up. Um... Sebastian, see, here's the other Minotaur coming down the hall, sees the two in front of him, and he starts looking around the room at all the objects around him, but then he, he actually reaches into his pocket, pulls out ten gold, throws it on the ground, and casts animated objects. <laughs> yeah. So we'll have the animated objects go immediately after you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, I throw the gold on the ground, pull out the staff, and animate objects on the gold, and they just start firing like a machine gun at this minotaur. <laughs> right here. So as I point at them, it's the payday. Pop, 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 pop. Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> it's payday. I said without, without Monty coming up with it, okay? without any sort of line or like prompting <laughs> or really yeah. natural. Sebastian Crow says it's payday. Okay, so you make. 10 coin attacks. I Did you use the staff to cast it? No. No, oh, okay. it's, I think no. it's one that he knows. I just pointed the staff at it. Everyone's disappointed yeah. that we didn't see a wild magic circle. Yeah, I really yeah. wanted one I too. really want someone to turn into a potted plant. <laughs> Guys, it's it's coming. Like, there's going to be so many castings. Of, don't worry. Okay. Please. All right. 
Uh, what's I have a plus eight, so I think all of these hit. My 20, lowest, 20. my lowest is a twenty. Okay, so roll forty-four plus sixteen. Uh, and that's for four of them. The first four. There's ten of them total. Yeah. Yikes! I love this spell. Me too. It reminds me. Forty-four plus eight. Are you uh, plus? Uh, each one is one d four plus four damage. Okay. So these flying coins just come out as if ro- running out of a roll of coins. Twenty six. <laughs> nice. Woo! Getting a lot of value out of this spell. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Uh, money jokes. Uh, one of them's a one, so that one okay. misses. Um, and then I have. 15. That's a hit. Yes. All right, and then the other two are higher than that. So three of them hit. Okay. Uh, Twenty-two more. So the coins burst out towards this minotaur like grape shot, and just they spin on their sides and fire through him like bullets. <laughs> I still have one more. One more. He's dead. Okay. The last coin flies up. The, <laughs> the last coin deflects off and, and misses. And, and, misses. And, and, and misses. He gets the spare okay. change. <laughs> <laughs> You've been spared. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. guys! There's, there's so all of more. my puns. You guys, you guys <laughs> took all of the good puns. Um, <laughs> now I can't think of anything better to say. I, I, I call the animated coins back to me. Okay. And I can still concentrate on the spell. Yeah. So then I move, I'm going to move back here. Yeah, they effectively have a flying speed of 30 feet. Yeah, so they're like hovering above yeah. my hand. I'm just like... Returned investment. Yeah. <laughs> Come on! Oh, Come on! Out of it! <laughs> wow. Alright, and that's uh, that's my turn, and this guy is just a sopping uh, mess um, of... A mulch, mulch by <laughs> death by gold. Um, you got deep pockets there, Veo, when you're coming up with these puns. I need, I need one. I need one. I need to beat you guys to one pun. Um, well, uh, un- <laughs> unperturbed by that, um, the the remaining Minotaur sees what just occurred, and it howls with bestial rage and races towards um, Pluto as another Minotaur bursts into the room. <gasps> And the two of them both bring their axes down upon Pluto, attacking <gasps> recklessly. One getting a 21 to hit. Hit. And the other getting a 17 to hit. Miss. It charges at you, Pluto, and you take a grand total of 17 points of piercing damage. Ouch. Make a strength saving throw. Oh. Uh, 20. 20, you stand your ground, though, as it tries to pitch you into the air and throw, fling you towards Sebastian. Excuse you, Minotaur man. Okay. Cool. Um, awesome. Next up, we have our special guest star. Um, from the opening of the room, comes around a corner, comes around the corner, a strange looking minotaur um his face is almost turned in like the face of a man and he has these big instead of the horns on his head he has these big tusks and he stands much more upright um he wears this massive belt of bronze and he carries a crossbow made of brass in one hand and a sword in the uh, and uh, as he sheaths the sword he's got this kind of bandolier of various uh, bolts and concoctions all, all around him and as uh, he almost appears out of nowhere just not through the door not from around just appears um, and as he comes into the room um, he lowers the crossbow and takes a shot at He's got a clean shot on Sebastian. Oh. <laughs> I was going to try to argue that I was behind the barrels. Getting a 21 to hit. Ow. He, he accepts the arrow. Okay. Or a bolt. The Ow. crossbow is like a, uh, a ballista shot oh, uh, coming in. <laughs> and it deals a total of uh, 16 piercing damage. Yep. 
Um, and then as it strikes into you, it bursts oh. uh, in a spray <laughs> of acid. Oh. Uh, make a constitution saving throw. Good. <laughs> I got a 14. That's a failure. Yep. So you take an additional 24 points of acid damage. Ooh. And again, you're not wearing your goggles. Like, <laughs> you need to be wearing your goggles. Acid comes all the time at you. It it hits me in the... I don't know. Where does a ballista shot not kill a guy? Uh, it hits me in the... Shoulder? Shoulder? Or maybe in the, like, the thigh. Well, that I imagine good. that you'd go for a dive and it uh, slides past you and hits you through the side. As it, as it does so, it hits the wall behind you and this burst of acid just strikes you in the back. That's, oh. one, that's one of your kidneys. Oh, my kidney. <laughs> my <Yeah>. new robes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and as you look up at your attacker, the the purple cloak that he wears almost comes to life and swirls around him and he disappears from view. Excuse you. I need to you. make a uh, con- concentration you check. You need to make two. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Ooh. Concentration check number one. I'm going to use a different dice. This dice is upsetting me tonight. Metal dice. Metal dice. Uh, 22. That's good. Yep. 11. Uh, this, the acid damage was 25 damage, so the DC would be 12. The coins fall, and I slowly pick them back up as I bleed. Frantically. <laughs> yeah, I'm just there picking my coins back up, bleeding. Oh no, Pluto, guys. you're up. Um, I'm just gonna keep swinging at new Minotaur. That's uh, they've been hitting me and stuff. Yeah. They both attacked recklessly. Yeah. Oh. Um. Get him. You okay, Sebastian? No. Uh, I get like a thirty to hit. Oh. Um. For twenty-four damage. Oh my god. No, it was, it was full it was, of acid. Oh. Yeah. And I'm gonna do oh, yeah. that on the one that actually hit me. Cool. That jerk. Uh, a 23 to hit for 22 damage. Oh my God. <laughs> and just keep swinging. Just keep swinging. Um, okay. Advantage avoided a miss. A, like a 27 to hit for... Oh, this one's not as fun. Only 17 damage. Uh, that... Uh, it's enough to clinch it. Yeah. Um, so with a series of swipes, I imagine that you disarm him literally. Uh, and <laughs> <laughs> Like both arms? Yes. Yeah. First arm goes off, second arm goes off, and then a stab in the neck. And then I chest kick him <laughs> off, my, off my sword, and I'm going to try to uh, knock prone uh, next dude. Oh, uh, a 12 athletics. Uh, I get an 11. Yeah, so I knock him prone, um, and uh, I'm gonna stand over him. Nice, Stale, Stale. you're up. Um, so he's prone. I'm still gonna take my two shots at him, anyways. Um, so I get just regular because I would have advantage, right? Uh, yeah. If you stand next to him because he's prone, you can just shoot him in the face with advantage. Oh, okay. I'm gonna stand and. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, sweet. Yeah, you should just shoot him in the face. Yeah. Oh, uh, twenty. That's a hit. Sweet. <laughs> oh, gross. Because <laughs> uh, you're using your crossbow and you have crossbow experts, so you don't provoke attacks and you don't suffer disadvantage. I was using my longbow. Right, but he okay. In, in that case, technically, you wouldn't have had the advantage. But I'll overlook at this time because I thought you were using your crossbow. Okay. Okay. Just use your crossbow and just shoot him in the face. Uh. Oh, no, I use my longbow. Yeah, that's okay. Thirty damage. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that's a hit. It's a hit. Yeah, it's nineteen <laughs> on the die. That's just this. Um, twenty-one damage. Cool. So you run up right beside him, pepper two arrows in his neck, but he's still not down. Sebastian, over to you. 
does he look mortally wounded? <laughs> yeah. Um, Crowley's going to fly over and start pecking at his eyes. <laughs> Uh, and then I'm going to firebolt him, and Crowley's helping me out, so it's going to be with advantage. Which and cancels the disadvantage because he's prone more than five feet away. So it's just right. a regular attack. Unless you run up and want to just... If, if you're within five feet of them, you, you... No, it wouldn't. It would. If you if you go right up to him, you can have the advantage. I'm going to say they all cancel out that way. I go right up to him, and I'm going to, with Crowley pecking at his eyes, I'm going to firebolt him with advantage. Yeah. Elven accuracy. Okay. <laughs> nice. Uh, that's going to be... Oh, wow. I didn't. I keep forgetting what my bonus is. Uh, so that's going to be a 25 to hit. That's a hit. And that's going to be... It's a three... You got a nice 3d10 firebolt now. Yeah. Bam. Nope. <laughs> 21 damage. It leaves a searing hole where his face used to be. And then... After I burn his face out, I'm going to quicken web in the doorway. Sounds good to me. Uh, so you put a web down in the doorway. I go grab my... I'm worried about that other guy coming back in here. Then we'll see him and slap him in the face. Should I not worry about the web? Maybe I shouldn't. Don't okay, worry about yeah, the web. Never mind. I, okay. I, I contemplate casting web, but I don't see anybody in the doorway. Yeah, we don't know where he's going. So after I burn this guy... Crowley flies back to me, and I go and hide in my corner. Again. I go pick up my immovable rod. Okay. The halls are silent. You know he probably is going to tell more minotaurs that were here, right? Well, then we just need to not be here. Let's be over there. I'm bleeding. And a I lot. point over there. Um, I say let's quickly get to the next floor. So upstairs, right? Is where the uh, is on the way to the throne room. Upstairs is where we need to go. Um, do I remember which side of the castle the throne room was on? Uh, it is on the absolute opposite side from what, what you're on. Okay. Yeah. Probably easiest way to go would be to get to the other side and then go straight up. Mm -hmm. The way Castle Draken is laid out, from what you remember, mm -hmm. is every level has a great hall, a gallery that is connected by the um, the stair tower, which is the grand tower that overlooks all of Drakenheim, where the, the dragons are. Mm. Um, that tower stair connects all the main levels except the basement, mm. because the basement level is accessible only by um, the servant stair stairway, and then the another stairway that tower that goes right up beside the stair tower. Okay, so we probably need to get up one of those mm -hmm. other stairways and then make our yep. way to the, the bigger yep. stairway. Throughout the building as well, there are other staircases that lead up between other floors. Um, and there are other ways down and up. And it doesn't discount the fact that there could be other damage. There's also a lot of balconies. Mm -hmm. uh, and as, as a child, you knew that there were ways to get from you could climb up and outside the building across balconies and through windows to get around in the upper levels as well. The lower yeah. levels are quite fortified, but the upper levels have these More leeway. vistas. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how you'll mm. do climbing, but I mean, yes. I mean, climbing, I'm fine. It's just being quiet when I do it. Mm. I also just take some of my ointment and like rub it on my <laughs> face. So I'm like, I definitely forgot to dodge that attack. I, um, as cool. I'm bleeding, I'm, I'm looking at all my pockets, and in my sleeve, I find a patch for four healing potions, and I pull it out, and I drink all four healing <laughs> potions. Just crack them all open at yeah. once. Go, go, go. You're going to have to pee so bad. <laughs> <laughs> drinking wine and potions. We don't have time for washroom breaks on this yeah, adventure. You got to hold it. I'll just pee my pants. Don't worry, guys. I'm already soaked in <laughs> blood. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can do that. Oh, gross. And soil. All right. So With that soil. mental image in mind, which way would you like to go? <laughs> I, I want to take a quick look at the floor. The Is, kitchen. Can I tell which way um, uh, mystery acid shooter dude went, Minotaur? Um, well, looking out into the hallway... Um, there's actually only two directions that he could have gone because the hallway ends in a dead end 
and it continues out into what you can only assume might be the the castle kitchen and there is a doorway that is shut on the opposite side of the hallway from you anybody hear a door open or close i didn't um you can still be here goggles uh, I think he, he, I mean, it looks like he teleported, but it's hard to say where, or maybe he's invisible. I don't know. There are so many options with magic. Magic. Click. Okay. Uh, but I say we head to the kitchen. Okay. I turn on my goggles. My unbiased opinion. <laughs> totally unbiased. Just to reminisce in the space that mm. I once called home. Okay. As you head down the hallway into the kitchen, the large kitchen is almost like the furnace of the castle. There are the three uh, huge ovens and a large open spit where the castle used to roast its feet and t- feasts and tables and tables of for preparation and storage, shelves upon shelves of dishes and cutlery and all the supplies. But this once, once the heart and living soul of the of Castle Draken has become a charnel house for scattered across all of the preparation tables in the kitchen are piles of bodies which have been butchered and sliced up and there is the spit that used to roast whole hogs has several uh, human corpses impaled on it which have been slowly turning and now burning on one side. Do I recognize any of them? Um, most of these bodies are butchered beyond recognition. Mm. Um, looking through um, the, these bodies, though quickly, the vast majority of them do not appear. You don't recognize anyone from the castle staff. Mm-hmm. Rather, um, you're like, oh, that guy kind of looks like one of the queen's men, or that guy looks like I might have seen them in the ho- like a hooded lantern who disappeared we- weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Um, in fact, piled in the uh, the corner in a large stash is a huge pile of equipment, including several hooded lantern cloaks, mm-hmm. um, various thieves' bandanas, even bits of the paladin's armor and weapons. It seems like the, a collection of victims have been brought here for eating. I go up to the stash of stuff and kind of rummage through real quick and see mm. if there's anything worth like quickly scavenging. Um, make a quick investigation check. Eleven. There's a few good sets of mundane arrows mm. uh, and some decent armor. Like, so, sorry, some decent um, arms in here but it looks like everything of value has been picked over mm. um even the where the gold is that these people might have been carrying or if they were having any healing potions they've been taken in, in somewhere else mm. leading off the kitchen room itself uh is an are hallways leading both to the west and back to the east and at the north end of the kitchen there is a doorway which veo you remember leads to the servant's stairwell mm. With my goggles, do I see any sign of big acid dude? Uh, As you come into the room, um, you can see um, hiding in the corner invisibly far over by the doorway. There he is, standing invisibly with his his crossbow at, at the ready. And as you... And he's waiting patiently... Um, and as you come into the room, uh, he's, he's al- he almost he stealthily moves across, um, almost like he's waiting for the perfect moment to strike. I without without paying too much attention, so I have my goggles on, and I kind of catch him in my peripheral, and I uh, look. I, I kind of like continue to look at the two of you. Make a deception check. Okay. We also have the telepathic. Wait, mental mental. Mode. Oh, we are mental mode. <laughs> we are mentally linked. <laughs> Ten. Okay. You're trying really hard to make it look like you're not looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> but you're looking at him. <laughs> you're looking at him. Okay. <laughs> and I um. I, and he so, knows that you're looking at him. So I like we make we, I like look at him and he looks at me and then I like look away and then I'm just like Does anybody else smell pork chops at eleven o'clock? <clears throat> pork um, chops and uh, as you turn to speak, he rushes back down the hallway towards the door. And I 
rush after. Okay. Um, I will re-roll uh, initiative. Uh, we can re-roll initiative. That's better. Let's see if it matters. 18. 15. 14. 16. 17. 18. 18. Uh, so the only thing is that... Uh, what did you get, Sebastian? Uh, 15. So the order, your order changes, but he actually beat you all. Ah, <laughs> ah darn it. Darn it. Okay. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Cause okay. Did you tell us about him? As, as you move to strike, he... Yeah, yeah. As you move to strike, he bounds down the hallway towards the door and he turns around loads what appears to be um, this kind of like bolt bound with webbing of some kind into it and fires it at you Sebastian ah nuts getting a critical hit ah Ah, nuts ah, nuts. (laughs) Um, so that is going to be a total of I just, oh, nuts. And then it hits, <laughs> it hits me. Uh, yeah, it's going to be 33 points of piercing damage. Oh! The my ballistic. potions! <laughs> um, I'll, I'll rub some ointment on and your face. As it, okay. um, on his ballista wound. As it stri- strikes you, this mass of sticky webbing explodes out from it towards Veo and Pluto, and you can all make dexterity saving throws. Bleah. 20. And you too, Sebastian. Twelve. Twelve? Eight. You are both restrained in the webbing. <laughs> Veo is not, but he backs around through the door and goes around the corner. Oh. I, I, like, collapse to the floor in this webbing, and I'm just, like, staring at Pluto <laughs> also in the webbing. I'm just like, I'm bleeding so much. Was there a guy? <laughs> oh, there's... He, is, there a, is there a minotaur? Did you see him? I've been shot with two ballistas <laughs> in the last five minutes. I don't feel so good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he went, he's 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 at the door. I like try to like tilt my head in the right direction for Veo. I'm like he's that he's there. <laughs> Do we see there. the door open? Yeah, you see the door open and slam shut. Ugh. Uh and he's in in the next hallway now. Hmm. Veo. <laughs> Pick me up and carry me on your back. I'll be your eyes. <laughs> I don't know if I'm strong enough to do that. Um What are you going to do, Veo? I am going to take my last. Well, maybe I'm not. <laughs> um, I can't, I'm like I can't see him, but I'm. I'm uh, Trust your instinct. I'm gonna just go it's after hurt. him. Oh, yeah. hurt. Um, and I rush through using my feline agility to go past. Okay. Forever. <laughs> As you kick forever. open the door, you bump into something right in front of you. Perfect. <laughs> um, Did you find him? <laughs> yes. And I take out now my crossbow. Okay. And I, I'm going to take some shots at him. Um, yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, do I make a dexterity save? Uh, uh, because you bumped right into him. Okay. Right. So just make a dexterity saving throw. Uh. 26. Yeah, you managed to keep your footing. <gasps> yep. Okay. Um, do I, I have disadvantage because he's still invisible? Yes. Okay. Uh, let's do this. I believe. I believe. I believe. 12. It is a miss. Mm-hmm. Second. Worse. Uh. Also a 12. So you I'm just fire gonna, three like, shots right in front of him <sighs> and all three just go uh, go completely wide. You hear the swishing in the air in, in, in front of you. Is it my turn? It is your turn, Sebastian. All right. You can see him, but you're restrained in the webs. I cast um, Fairy Fire. How? It's in my ring. Interesting. It requires only a verbal component. So okay. I like summon the magic from my... I'm like bound. Okay. And I can see him, and I just glare at him and I He speak. gets a nine on his saving throw. Yeah! Not good enough. He is Kay. now illuminated. Woo! Nice. nice. Very nice. Pluto, it is your turn. Uh, okay, how do I get out of these webs? Oh yeah, should I try to get out of the webs? Uh, You need to use an action to okay. do so. Mm-hmm. No, my, my action was well spent. Um, So I can use my action? Yep. Ooh, what am I doing? Uh, Make a strength or dexterity check. I want to do strength. 
20, what, 22? You smash open the restraints and can move normally now. And I'm going to rush at him. Okay. Um, and uh, I'm going to stand right beside him. Oh, yeah, I can only make it that far. Yeah. Yeah. So I just... Uh, uh, uh. Vale, keep him occupied. Uh. <laughs> okay, we go to the top of the round. It is uh, the this monster's turn. Uh, and he, um, still invisible, um, he lowers his crossbow. Um, you, you, Vale, you kind of feel like this crossbow pointing almost right at your head. But feel she can see him energy. though, right? Yeah, his she outline? can see him because of the fairy fire. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's that's correct. She can see. So I now see yeah. this. So he, he <laughs> lowers it down to fi- fire. Minotaur. Yeah, so he doesn't have the, uh, he doesn't have the invisibility anymore. He fires the, the 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 crossbow almost at point blank range at you, and as he lowers it into it, it almost bursts forward with lightning. Uh, and he fires it out, and you roll at the last second, and the bolt shoots right down the hallway, <laughs> Hello. Uh, right past Pluto and right p- past Sebastian. Oh. And this is completely. I like oh. Completely. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. Now I can't see. Okay, <laughs> the goggles. <laughs> The goggles, they do nothing. Um, and so, having uh, ha- having done that... <laughs> yes. Um, and now that he is uh, fairy fired, um, does he get a saving throw to get out of the fairy fire? Fairy fire. Uh, any creature in the area when the spell is cast is outlined in light if it fails its dexterity saving throw for the duration. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, no, yeah. The, you're, you're locked into it, aren't you? Yep. And you can't... Okay. So you can't use this bonus action. These things get to become invisible as a bonus action at will. Um, they're awesome. That's why I packed fairy fire. Um, so much. Okay. Uh, so he can't use his bonus action. So he is going to um, move north towards the doorway. And he just gets right up to the door. Yep. Is that, is that an opportunity attack from Veo? Uh, it is not because Veo isn't holding a melee weapon. That's true. What about your claws? Go for it. You can scratch it. Use your teeth. Um, you get uh, advantage. Do I? Because he's fairy fired. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, twenty-one. That hits. That's great. It's With not, your claw. It's not great. <laughs> Four. One damage. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Guys, we heard him. We drew blood. Your your claw snaps off uh, as you strike him because he's My actually nails. resistant to non magical damage. <laughs> so t- um. <laughs> So, Veo, you're in um, underneath the Great Hall. So you know that this hallway, the way this hallway is laid out with the with the castle stair, it is like this on every level of Castle Draken. Mm. And right in front of you in this in this hallway is the castle cistern, um, which is a great fountain where all the castle's water comes in through. Uh, a fountain where there's three gargoyles that spit water into mm-hmm. into the center there's a doorway leading up to the staircase that goes across the various levels but here is also the entrance to the castle draken vaults and crypts mm. and th- it is a massive iron door across from you and on flanked on either side of it are these massive constructs of stone and iron identical to the ones that were beneath the grand cathedral oh um, coming out also down this hallway are a pair of doors that lead to a pair of guard barracks. Mm. Um, so, uh, I actually believe that was its turn. So it is your turn, Bayo. You have advantage on all attacks against him. I pull out my long bow and I, I'm going to take some shots at his back. <laughs> um... <laughs> I will. This is the rogue part of you. <laughs> um, twenty. That's a hit. Bam. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh gosh. Twenty-seven damage. <sighs> So as he goes to rush up the stairs, just this vicious shot strikes him in the back. <laughs> uh, 20 to hit. Also a hit. Bam. 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 
19 damage. Nice. And... Cool. I am going to... I'm going to use my cunning action to hide back in the door. Okay. Sebastian, you're up. You are still restrained. Uh, I'm going to try to break out. Strength or dexterity? Either or, yep. 14. You push against the sticky webs and strands that bind you in place, but you cannot break out. Oh, darn. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Guys, I'm stuck. <laughs> um, hold on, I just need to check if there's somatic components. To- yeah, you're just restrained. You you can still perform somatic and oh, verbal lovely. components. Yeah, lovely. Um, well, I can't see him. No. And I can't move, right? No. Um, you know what? Yeah, I got nothing. Let me hold on. All right, Paluto, we're over to you. Uh, I'm going to run past uh, Veo. I don't think I can get to him, though. I kind of like sleek up against the wall and I'm like, go for it. Um, I think I'm going to. Yeah, one creature. I'm going to dash. Okay. And just get right up to him. Right on top of him. Nice. And I go, hello. You shot me with web. (laughs) <laughs> That's gross. And uh, I'm going to probably try to kill you in a second. Okay. I say to the glowing thing. All right. The massive creature, um, as you come up to him, he reaches into the bandolier on, on his front side and pulls back this infernal looking dagger and he stabs it into your shoulder. Hey! <sighs> Getting a twenty nine to hit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh! I just see like the outline of a right. hand. I'm like, what's he yeah, probably he, doing? He drops. <laughs> he drops the crossbow. Takes the dagger out. Puts one hand on your shoulder. Takes the other. Just stabs it down into your chest. Ah! Uh, you take uh, twelve points of uh, slashing damage, and you need to make a Constitution saving throw. You know, it's not the first time I've had something stabbed into my chest. So <laughs> I'm pretty. Nor- this is pretty. I get like an eight. Okay, you fail. <laughs> uh, so you're oh wait, can I do uh, indomitable? Believe the man's got to believe. Twenty five. Okay, you succeed. Your I saving had to. Throw, I had to. And instead of taking thirty poison damage, <laughs> you only take fifteen. Oh, oh my gosh. Um, Ex- you are also not poisoned uh, by by the attack. So he just stabs the dagger down in, uh, into you. Um, ow. Yeah. Ow. Ow. Um, and then he is going to be, he pushes you off and he tries to make a break for it, provoking an attack. Oh, oh, get him. oh sir, I crit. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you wish you didn't run. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, so it's going to be uh, oh, 41 damage. <laughs> And I want him to make a strength save. He gets a 10. Um, and he's going to take another uh, uh, 8 damage. Okay. And uh, I'm going to do a distracting strike. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, distracting strike. As he takes the damage, he turns around to back to, to face you. And he smiles this wicked grin with this weird, like, half human half bovine face and all of a sudden this giant boil appears on his chest and it's glowing and another one appears and another one appears and he takes the dagger and he stabs it into his gut Uh and the boils continue to build up on his back Uh until with a horrible wrenching wet sound he explodes and you and Veo need to make dexterity saving throws Veo you have advantage because you're around the corner guys what's happening Ah! (laughs) Um, did we win (laughs) Uh, 26 I heard an explosion is it it magic Uh, it is not oh um I get a 21. Okay, so you both succeed, but you still both take um, 
five fire damage and five thunder damage and five acid damage. Can you stay I'm gonna uncanny dodge on this. Uh, technically, no, because uncanny dodge has to be an attack. Oh. Uh, but yep. you have do you do you not have evasion yet as a rogue? No. No. Okay. Next so yeah, level. It's fifteen damage total. Um, and he just explodes in this wet mass of flesh, acid, body parts, bone, and in the process, the dagger goes flying out and shatters, and the crossbow explodes, too. I'm going to do the Captain America tuck behind the shield and just take it. Oh, right, because that reduces the damage to nothing, correct? Yeah. Oh, no, but you have to use a reaction for that. Yeah. Which you used to make an opportunity attack when he ran. Yeah. No, uh, he... Uh, oh, yeah, I did. Yeah. Darn it. You take that damage. No, I take, <laughs> take it. it. I take it all. <laughs> <laughs> I try to do the Captain America thing, but um, my legs are totally. I, I just imagine as the, as the, your sword is still in him as he smiles like this, oh. and you're like trying to pull it out <laughs> as he <laughs> just explodes right. Oh, yeah, shit. and you manage to roll away. Yeah. I'm like, I Ow. pick my head around the corner. I'm like, what's happening? Oh, no, this damage. <laughs> is he? dead <laughs> <laughs> no. you yell from the other yeah. room is he dead no like I, I get up and you see a little cocoon Sebastian like slowly trying to hop towards you guys make a dexterity saving throw okay. <laughs> can you hop nope I got a nine you hop and fall over <laughs> I fall like hit my face ow help <laughs> one glass too many that's what happens when you drink all the good wine, Sebastian. You're drunk again. You're still drunk, Sebastian. I'm not drunk. I'm webbed. <laughs> Please help. What's the difference? I don't I, know. I, like, start worming, worm crawling <laughs> my way over. You're you're stuck to the floor at, the, uh, at, at this point. Uh, um, That was so rude. He exploded on me. <laughs> Does that count? That still counts as my kill. That still counts. That was still counted as a kill. Oh. Does he still have? Is there anything like left of him? Is this like bleh? It's uh, all on me. There, everything is left of him. It's just all over the hallway. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll defeat him. Is this cloak still there? <laughs> yes, but part of it's there, and part of it's there, oh, and part of it's there. Too bad. Whoops. He's a, he's visible now, though, which is a great thing. Is he still shining? We can see him. Nice. He's sparkly. Oh. In fact, you can see right inside him. <laughs> <laughs> I see right through you, Minotaur man. Oh. <laughs> Should we question him? If I wasn't smelling the beautiful smell of barbecue from the other room, I'd be a little bit disgusted. It's human. Um, I might need to take a... Let's, let's, uh, let's hang out for a minute. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go oh, release I go uh, over Sebastian and, from his cocoon. And we help okay. like take make it, uh, okay. You are both gonna try to help him out. Yeah. Both of you make dexterity saving throws. Oh, oh no. Oh I twenty eight. Okay, you succeed. You get stuck to him. <laughs> You're stuck. You're all help. No, that's not helping. <laughs> Listen, guys. Try with your whole body. <laughs> if you want a moment. <laughs> oh, this is worse. If you want a moment, I can leave you two here. <laughs> Fail. All right. Fail. I, um, can, what can I do? <laughs> well, I mean, you rolled high, so I think you. Yeah, so you, you can help. Oh, I can so help them. I thought you Sebastian gets didn't advantage get stuck. <laughs> to break out. All right. I'm using my claws now, the unbroken ones. I'm like. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I got a 13. Okay. So they're still both stuck. <laughs> to each other. Okay. Let's see. Let's find out how long it takes you to break out. Oh, man. 18. You break out. I finally get... I separate myself from you, and I'm, yeah. I'm going to leave you to... Veo's going right. to do I so, start a small campfire on the webs <laughs> <laughs> using prestidigitation. Don't light me up. I got, um, I got a nine. No. <laughs> yeah, no. We got to burn you out of this. <laughs> every, like... Oh, I got a 24. <laughs> so, yeah, after a few minutes, Sebastian finally... I li- go to, like, start to light... The- <laughs> no, it's when you light the fire, and I'm like, no, 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 and I, like, <laughs> yeah, I force myself out, out yeah. and, like, run away, scurrying. You just need a solid motivation. It's fine. <laughs> I, I like crawl in the corner and like look and there's yeah, just like, was being supportive I was hit with two ballistas <laughs> I don't I don't Do think you, I'm okay <laughs> you need some ointment <laughs> can you just rub it on this giant hole in my side hey Pluto do you have some ointment that you want to rub onto Sebastian's wound I mean I actually I'm gonna use it on myself <laughs> I mean can we uh, maybe we can take a short rest can we tiny hut can we tiny oh hut? yeah let me just focus on that for a little while. <laughs> just leave it to me, guys. We'll do it in the kitchen. I like woozily summon a tiny hut. The tiny hut looks woozy. 
and then I, I slowly crawl Dilapidated. In. I crawl okay. inside. Well, if you guys are going to take a short rest there, I think that that is a good place for us to take our short rest. We'll be back in 15 minutes. <sighs> and we are back from our short rest. Everyone has restored all their hit dice and got all their good <laughs> things back up to use again. Um, but before we dive back in, uh, big shout out to Tabletop Audio. Uh, as always, they provide our ambient music. Um, we've been using them since day one, and it's a really great way to elevate your own game at home. Check it out. It's all free at tabletopaudio.com. Of course, don't forget to take a look at the links below for our Teespring store where you can find all your Dungeon Dudes merch, including t-shirts like Troll Killer, Yes, 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 and of course the Dungeon Dudes logo. You can take a look at the links below or bit.ly slash Dungeon Dudes merch. And if you're enjoying the stream and you want to help support our work, check out our Patreon. You can find it by following the links below or at patreon.com slash dungeon underscore dudes. We also have a phenomenal Discord community exclusive for our patrons. Uh, where you can discuss role-playing games, Dungeons and Dragons, Drakenheim, our Thursday episodes, cats, video games, Jill's and lots cosplay, of memes. So and many lots memes. of memes. Like we got Such some hot memes. fire memes okay, going up. In the, the, people, hilarious. the people who are throwing out memes at the end of these episodes, <laughs> yeah, in the spoiler chat, so good. It's yeah, it's perfect yeah, Don't it makes my day yeah, it, it is like <laughs> so good such good stuff they're so funny the, the community and discord is really awesome so please if, if you want if you enjoy our show you like our work please check us out on patreon and join us in discord for lots of fun also as well kelly jill joe myself kyle the whole gang we are going to be trucking down to pax unplugged in philadelphia so exciting. uh in december um that will be from the 6th to the 8th. We're going to be doing a whole bunch of things. We're going to play in the D&D Epic. We're going to play some Adventure League games. We're going to check out some panels. We're going to meet some cool people. And we would like to meet you um, as well if you're going to be there. So follow us uh, on Twitter at Dungeon underscore Dudes. We're going to be tweeting through the whole weekend about what we're doing, what we're checking out. We're not doing any panels ourselves. We're not hosting anything. Or, or, we don't have a booth or anything. We're just going to be checking it out for the very first time. Woo! We're really looking forward to it. So if you are uh, going to PAX Unplugged as well, follow us on social media to find out where we're going to be. With that, the halls underneath the castle, under Castle Draken, are quiet. The kitchen fire continues to crackle. And the slurping water of the gargoyles in the cistern down the hallway uh, as they continue to spout the water out of their uh, large open mouths fills, are the only sounds that fill the air. You um, have rested in the charnel house that is the kitchen. Now, taking your short rest, and what will you do next? So we have a couple options here. We can definitely go and try to go straight up to the throne room. Um, I don't know if there's anywhere else in the castle that you want to take a look at and maybe clear some of the stuff out before before we get there. But I know my dad was leading us here for a reason. So, Dad? Yeah. I haven't seen anything since we came in here. Um, I mean, clearing out monsters has gone so well so far. We kick some butt. Sometimes they just kill themselves. They just blow up. I just have to watch it. I mean, if the rest of them could do that, that might save that might us a lot of time. The whole thing. Yeah. If if I could stop getting shot, <clears throat> that would be great. Yeah, you got to work on that. I, I'll, I'll try. Yeah, so thanks. from the kitchen, you know that there are there is a staircase leading directly up from the kitchen, the servant staircase that leads to the upper levels. <clears throat> Vale, you know that this staircase should connect directly to the guest quarters as well as the royal apartments okay because this was the staircase that the servants used to bring food to the royal family is um, everything linked back to how food traveled throughout the castle the, like and how the movement of things. people and food <laughs> so through spaces it. is the most important one of the most important architectural considerations when building any sort of thing if the food and people cannot flow the building is poorly designed and in fact the staircase here is quite well designed because as the staircase spirals upwards there's actually a winch so there's the there's a chimney in the middle oh, where you can uh, for like dumb a dumbwaiter waiter? Yeah, where you yeah. can crank, crank <laughs> things oh, up gosh, as well. Pluto, get yeah. in there. <laughs> I crawl in the dumbwaiter. Wait, what? Shouldn't we do this the other way? Don't break it. <laughs> I 
<laughs> so, so. No, it, I don't. I, it is large enough. Uh, the 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 dumbwaiter <laughs> platform, as you as you open the doorway, it is large enough that a person could crouch down in it because it had to accommodate. Uh, Veo, you, you you recall that there used to be s- serving tables on wheels that could go into the into it and be lifted up so that large platters could be taken all the way up to the banquet hall. There may have been a few times where I hid on the bottom of these, you know, rollable platters mm. and maybe snuck a little bit of food. You see like a cat's paw like come up and like grab like a, <laughs> like a biscuit. Or, like, <laughs> yeah. Piece of fish. Now, also leading off here is another set of stairs that at the end of the hallway, uh, uh, at the end of the northeastern hallway. Um, what you know, Veo, um, because you know Castle Draken so well, is that this is supposed to lead to an above ground outbuilding, and this is where the servants would come. This is the servants' entrance into mm-hmm. the castle. Um, and f- finally, there is, um, well, the great stair doesn't start till the next level up. There's the cistern underneath, and then there's a, a secondary staircase going beside it as well. Um, so there's there's kind of two sets of stairs that run parallel to each other, mm-hmm. going up and down the castle. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, to be honest, we could take either way from here, but it's whether we want to stop at the other floors that's really important. I think I want to see where where my dad is leading us. If he can lead us to him, that is that is one of the most important things that I can do right now. I agree. Um, I don't want you to miss out on an opportunity to figure out what he's trying to tell us. Um, from a strategic standpoint, I think if we either clear out most of the areas as we go, just so there's no sudden surprises when we bring back Saul and George and Jupiter, yeah. um, and we can do that on the way out. It doesn't have to be right now if if the trail picks up and we can follow him. Okay. That's my uh, suggestion. I'm uh, I'm here to follow you. We're this is your home, and we're here to find your father. So wherever you think is best, I'm I'm in it for the long haul. Now, from what I remember, if we were to go up to the stairwell with the dumb waiter, um, would it lead uh, across to the the grand staircase? <clears throat> yes. So there are um, hallways that lead back. It's just that. This staircase is going to take you up. If you take it up to the uh, upper levels, you're going to have to either go through the guest chambers, the royal apartments, or, uh, or like most directly on the level of the throne room. Um, it would connect first to the ballroom, and then if you take it all the way up, it connects to the royal apartments. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the other side, we'd be going mm-hmm. through. Um, the throne room itself is accessible from both the top level and the fourth level because the, the throne room has a balcony level around it. Okay. I say we go up, try to get to the throne room. See, where, see what it's like and then come back. Yeah. And we can find like even just a random room, clear it out and make that like our base of operations where we could know to come right away and then it, as close to the throne room throne room without being in it like we find a place so that when the eight of us come back that's like we know where to go we know where, we know how to get there and then and we we can group up and then go from there right to the i like that just something like safe did Let's you go. say you saw certain things with your goggles before with my father um i saw uh what looked like uh, the same things that are in the Amethyst Academy, you know, the servants that bring out the food. Mm-hmm. It looked like one of them, but like your father. Mm-hmm. Um, do I remember if my father was had magical abilities? No, he did not have magical abilities. Okay. If he did, he, he would not have been able to serve as the steward. Okay. He, he would have had access to magical resources mm-hmm. from his station and rank um, and would have been able to use some of the magic items and other resources that are here, but him himself being a spellcaster, having magic powers, no. No? Okay. Do you want to try to talk to him? Well, if he's around, then yes, but like that's what I'm saying. Can you use your goggles to like potentially see hmm. what you saw before? 
I can use them one more time before we have to hmm. rest. Okay. Then I say let's just go up the stairs and keep an eye out for any other signs that he's pointing us in the right yeah, direction. Yeah, ghost moves. Yeah. Which set of stairs would you like to take up? Um, I see the ones by the Minotaur, where we killed the Minotaur. Okay. Yeah. How close to dawn are we? Um, how close to dawn? Uh, it's Did we come here at night, like in the evening I, or in the morning? No, we let, we came here first thing in the morning. Didn't well, we? you met Lucretia Matthias this morning. Yeah. And then you set out from there to the to the castle. So I would say it's late in the afternoon now. Okay, so it's, yeah, I can't get yeah. charges back on my goggles for a while. They okay. Need, they need the rising sun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll keep it for now just in case there's any more, you know, invisible, invisible mm-hmm. jerks. Yeah. Okay, so you head back out of the kitchen into the um, underground gallery. Uh, the the This is a long chamber um, that is bereft with many statues and two massive stone protectors flanking a set of iron-bound double doors. The, pa- uh, um, the symbol of the city is uh, the, of the royal family of Drakenheim is emblazoned on these doors. Um, and what you can see is that um, both the stone defenders that are locked into the that are kind of almost built into the walls themselves. They all have the crest of the Von, the Von Kessels in the same shape and appearance as the badges that you now carry. Those are all, one of those seals is also engraved with runes on each of the double doors. Coming off this chamber is a um, portcullis that leads into what looks like to be a small guard room. Um, and in the guard room um, are, is a table with several weapon racks and four chairs on which are slumped um, the um, basically the empty armor of four guards of, of four royal knights and then further down the hallway is another set of doors um, and leading to the north is the staircase itself and then the base of the grand tower the grand tower stair which is a cistern where there are these three gargoyles that are spitting water in, in, in into them um veo as you pass by these the gargoyles are not in the same positions they were when you first passed through this room ah uh, creepy i oh, know guys these Seemingly, stone statues seem to have moved. Well, can we use our? I mean, if they're not hurting anyone, like maybe we can make them do stuff for us. What do you want to make them do? Like maybe, uh, like have a guard. Do you want to try it on one? Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> <sighs> What's the worst that could happen, Pluto? <laughs> Why would you say that? Just I saying. pick the one uh, closest to me. Okay. I'm going to point my ring at it. And I go, mm-hmm. I am... I'm getting ready to fight. The, the name of the king. What am I the thing of the king? I'm the one that holds the ring. You're knocking it out of the park, Pluto. <laughs> really? Knocking it out of the park. making up my rhymes and I do it all the time. <laughs> That's a baseball reference. Pluto, <laughs> in the name of the king. In the name of the king. I... Oh, I wrote it down, I think. <laughs> What is he? <laughs> Pluto's like pulling it. In the out. name of the king, the Castellan. Okay. I, the Castellan, uh, command thee. Okay. I, Pluto Jackson. <clears throat> uh, it turns around, it fails its saving throw, and it says, Oi, can't you see I got a job to do? I'm an essential part of the plumbing down here. Yeah, I mean, you guys were moving around. <laughs> like, you guys were walking around like it's it no can big talk. deal. Um, can, can, and one of the talk. others says, <laughs> yeah, but it's really hard to stand in the same position for all day, every hour of every day, right? Sometimes you got to let it come out this end. Sometimes you got to let it come out, out that end. You know what I mean? <gasps> Have they always been able to talk? Did I know that? Um, there were playful names for them, but if they ever talked. No, no. no uh, they, I yeah. always kind of suspect that they were a bit like hmm, cheeky. Every, everyone used to say that they had a cheeky character. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and, and, and in fact, um, 
uh, they were were usually named uh, nicknamed uh, Cheeky Rump and Butts. <laughs> and, who, and who do I have uh, command over? Cheeky. Cheeky. Nice. Wait. Do you know their names? Do you tell us their names? Butts. <laughs> <laughs> butts. Yeah. Hey. Uh. Hey, butts. Guess who I am? And I take my decanter of endless water, and I start spraying <laughs> water out, and I'm just there, like, pretending to be a gargoyle. And he, Do he they rolls. find it amusing? Hey, adequate water filtration for a castle fortification of this size is a significant uh, issue. Don't make light of our jobs. <laughs> you do you do such such good jobs in, uh, in the castle. Question for you guys. Uh, have you seen anything weird other than minotaurs around here? Any dads around? Yeah, like my dad. Do you remember my dad? Ghost dad. You remember ghost dad? dad. <laughs> Just any dad. Do you remember me? Do you know me? How about my dad? Been a lot of cats come through the castle in past years, but not for such a long time. Wait, past years? Oh, years ago. Fifteen years ago, there used to be a little cat that used to run around all the all the halls on her hind legs. <sighs> Picture that cat, but, but like 15 years bigger. <gasps> <laughs> My word! But <laughs> I remember you. You used to keep well away from all of us. Scared of the water, were you? Ha 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 ha! It's not my favorite thing. Um, I definitely don't remember you guys talking. That's for sure. It's freaking me out a little bit. I like it. Cheeky. You remember my dad? <laughs> the steward. Oh, the the, the steward. Yes. But. Yes. In Indeed. Indeed. Have you seen him lately? Mm. Seen him? No. Heard him? Yes. Speaks to us all the time he does. What? Yeah, oh, you guys are so lucky. Uh, Feel him in the stones all around. It was a while ago that it was like he was calling out to us. But then they point down to their feet, which are not animated. The tops half of them. It, you, what you've seen now is that their feet are in locked in position, so they're still stuck to their pedestals. But the top parts of them can move around and change positions. Some ally he's going to make. Interesting. Can't even, um, can't even move from this place. So you've heard him? Through the stone. Yeah. Lots of things been changing. Even some of the floors around. All shifting around over the years, they say. Some of the other statues, you know, we, we all got to talking and saying, you know, things have been quite strange around here. New inhabitants, of course. Kind. But you know, we all keep to ourselves the, the new tenants, you know. Steward says to keep out of their way. You hear him in the floors and in the walls? Yes. I drop down to the floor and cut my mouth and I just go, <laughs> Veo's dad, is this you? Rump Mr. Stop. Senya. These two were asleep, but he came past this way in a whole bunch of huff, running on the way down through them doors over there. What? The big doors? The flanked by the two. And he ain't never come back. What? We have to go. This is when you saw him alive, not through not through the floors. This was 15 years ago. He was running. He looked like he was hurt real bad. Had some strange glow to him, too, as he came down. I know. And he ran through them doors. They shut right behind him. See, of course, he knew all the words. The, wor the words to get through the door? The words? What are the words to get through the door? Repeat them, please. If I knew him, I would be telling you. He knew him. We didn't. What did you hear him? Like, can you give us like a, a clue? Like, did you hear him go or or like, what, was there a sound? Was there a... a, a was it a <clears throat> or a blah? Yeah. That's like, really what we're asking. Yeah. I, I could go many places from there. But Oh, he said his name and he said in the name of the king. And then he said bunch of other words in a language I don't understand. I run over to the door. I run with you. And I, I say, and I'm lazily. like, I, my voice raises and I say, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. <laughs> I'm trying to find it. <laughs> in the name of the king, I, the Lord Commander Veosenia, command you open. Okay. The doors rattle and the force of the door begins to open but the you you can only target one of the doors i stand on the other side and i say 
I need to see that. Oh, here. <laughs> I gotta send it to you. In the name of the king, I, Sebastian Crow, Maybe. the court wizard, yeah. <laughs> command you, and I point the staff towards the door. Open. The other door, the two doors burst open with a screech, and there is a straight hallway extending back to the edge of the castle before before you. And as you do so, um, the, um, the gargoyles cackle. They say, you got all the right words for the doors, but you better mind the doormen. <clears throat> as excuse you, the two constructs step out from the walls. Pluto, I point my ring at one of the constructs. Uh, Did you see the gargoyle? I, Pluto Jackson, Castellan of the. Uh, he already passed it, didn't he? He got a natural twenty. <laughs> <laughs> I as I'm doing it, he's just walking closer. And I, I the cat. I'm a castle guy. I'm the dude that. Uh oh. Not how working. Did, how did my father do all of this at once? Doesn't make any sense. Do we have we have telepathy with the. I'm more concerned about uh, the giant statues walking towards us. Are, are they like? Is it? Yeah, you better roll for initiative. Yeah. That's <laughs> <it>. <laughs> oh boy. Um, but we still have telepathic bond to um, to the rest. Oh, they actually pop out. That's horrifying. That's yeah, you didn't know. scary. I didn't know they actually popped out. Oh, yeah. And I'm standing here. I'm on the other side. You're over by the fountains, right? They actually have animated versions of them. Don't worry. Um, that's so scary. Oh, there's uh, there's one here by the, like, close in. Is that one? Oh. This is great. Hello. <laughs> hey, how did that guy get right up to Vea? This is uh interesting. Ah. Uh, nothing goes exactly according to plan. At though. least it's not a a Bastila. My thought is do we want to kill them? Okay, what, we, what do we got? Did we just run? Uh, 17. 17? I got 16. I also got 17. Do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? Um, I can try to get you advantage. Yeah, you go first. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, so the one of the golems got an 18 and the other got a 2. <laughs> <laughs> so I beat somebody. Okay, so <laughs> what, what was it again? Bail? 17. Sebastian? 16. And then Pluto was before me. I was also 17. All right. As the massive constructs of stone pull themselves off the walls and raise their fist to strike, uh, the first one steps off the wall uh, and steps down towards Veo. Veo! Um, and it... Um, and as it does so, it puts its hands down on the ground. And the, this wave of energy resonates out from the stone. Veo and Sebastian make wisdom saving throws. No, not wisdom. 19. 14. Sebastian, no, 15. you fail. Yeah. Um, Veo, you succeed. Sebastian, you can't use reactions. Ugh. Your speed is halved, and Ugh. you can't make more than one attack on your turn. You can either take an action or a bonus action, but not both. You can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of your turns, ending the effect on a success. Cool. Pluto, it is your turn. Um, I'm going to point the ring again at the one that hasn't acted yet. Okay. I, Pluto Jackson, I'm going to try to get it right. Castellan of Drakenheim, command you. <laughs> Uh, it uh, it only gets a ten, so it <gasps> it is John. bound to you. And I command it to go wrestle the other one. <laughs> Get him. This is all classic uh, um, statue wrestling. Classic statue wrestling. Veil, vale, what are you gonna do? I move my way inside the door using my 
bonus action to use my cunning action to disengage. Okay. Uh, and I say, guys, get in here so we can close the doors because we can control them. And I take out my longbow and I shoot at the one that was had his hands on the ground. Twice. Wah, 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 wah. Uh, 19? That is a hit. Woo-hoo. Nice. 18 damage. Nice. And this is using your longbow? Yep. Correct? Great. Second shot is a nine. Deflects off the stonework. 16. Also deflects off its own. Oh, Ooh. good try. And I back up a little bit more and I just say, guys, come on, get in the doors. Nothing. Okay. Sebastian. Um, as these two statues are about to clash into each other, I pull out the staff of power and I point it at the one that isn't in our control. Okay. And I'm going to cast Ray of Enfeeblement from the staff of power. <laughs> um, okay. It makes strong things weaker. Oh. Neat. Now he'll definitely lose the wrestling match. <laughs> exactly. That's kind of the point. Okay. Interesting play. Uh, roll a wild magic surge. <laughs> uh, it fails the saving throw. Nice. Oh, um, it's, uh, I rolled oh you make it. Yeah. 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 You're oh, making a spell attack. That, no. that dice is gone. It's never coming back. It's too late for it. I always forget the Raven Fieldman is an attack roll. But it does make saving throws. Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, I get a twenty-five. That is a hit. It is enfeebled. Or no, that's my that's my um, wild magic. Oh, surge. your wild magic surge. Okay. Uh, again, it's you're gonna roll twice, dude. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, why am I rolling twice? Because you're in <laughs> Castle Dragon. Yeah. Uh, Thirty-four. Okay. Oh yeah, it's gone. Thirty-four or twenty-five. It's gone. I crit. <laughs> I, I, get, I don't know if I can crit with Raven. Fable, okay. But I crit. Um, an eyeball appears on your forehead for the next minute. Oh. And you have advantage on wisdom saving throw checks that rely on sight. This eyeball opens up and it actually appears on like a long stalk. <laughs> 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 I need new goggles. Sebastian. <laughs> you need no. a monocle to go with your goggles. Can I like move it yeah. around? <laughs> oh, guys. <laughs> No. Look at your own face. So, Are you gonna stay like that? Because it's just weird. <laughs> I like turn the eye How trippy like, is that? Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Um. So that's Sebastian. So the golem uh, oh, that. I'm, I'm gonna run. Yep. So the dominated golem charges at the other one, and they try to wrestle each other to the ground. Uh, and they do so. <laughs> it's hol- holding the other down as uh, as you go through the doors. <laughs> <laughs> You're Pluto! And the other tries to wrestle back. Uh, and because it's enfeebled, it can't. Yes. And it is remains enfeebled. <laughs> and, I, and I'm going to dash past them. Close the doors! We have to use them. We, I, On our turn, I, right? Yeah, can, like, can we pull the doors closed? It's Vay and Sebastian. Oh, it's your turn. Okay, well, we yeah. close the doors. Uh, well, we okay. Can just, Command them closed. I, I'm like, command close, and you're like, closing the door. And I'm like, okay. oh yeah, and I point the staff, and it closes. Okay. Ew, what's that? Uh, what's that on your head? What? <laughs> ah, it's really <laughs> what? weird. Ah. Can you, can you put that thing away? Yeah. Sorry. Tuck that away. Wrap it around your <laughs> guys. I don't know what to do. It's just part of me now. Okay. Just accept it. I can't. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. This is magic. This is how magic works. No, this is magic. <laughs> you are in a long dust-filled hallway. It looks like none has been passed this way in an age. On the north side of the hallway are two bound doors covered in arcane runes and the seals of the Von Kessels. And to the south is another set of double doors, um, also similarly bound, and engraved with an archway covered in angels weeping. At the end of the hallway is a tor- uh, is a lit torch sconce uh, borne up by, by a statue 
of a cloaked figure uh, that holds the, 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 the torch out in one hand with an oar in the other. Is it sticks? Does Kinda. it look like sticks? Could, kind of reminds you of that. Oh. oh. With my third eye, I can tell that nobody's been through here in some time. I mean, I can tell that with my regular eyes. I, mean, I the dust. I can see better. <laughs> <laughs> Looking down at the mar, uh, the 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 stone of the floor is marbled, and it almost the stonework is there's streaks in the stonework almost as if the stone was once putty and someone brought their hands through it as if grasping or raking across the stone but it's solidified like this and there are stone-like vines reaching up well vines made of stone they look like solid strands of stone that are reaching up under the doorway, the double doorways, and out through the cracks of them, all along this hallway, and then embedding themselves in the stonework around. Guys, um, if you give me a few minutes, I can uh, try to detect some magic in this hallway. I have a also a plan. Okay, go for it. I reach into my fuzzy bag, <laughs> and I I pull out a fuzzy ball, and I throw it down the hallway. Okay, let's see what you get. Um, uh, I get a giant weasel. Oh. All right. The big old weasel comes on out. And his name Weasley is Weasley Snipes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kyle. Uh, so Weasley Snipes, and then I'm going to get him to start sniffing around. Sniff okay. Sniff. He begins sniffing around. <laughs> and we all sit there watching. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Are you drinking more wine? I'm. It's a, yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sebastian, you need some help. <laughs> we see, just take it easy, big guy. We're You've on a mission. Big day. It's been, it's We're been, at work right now. Um, it's been a rough inappropriate. week. Inappropriate. <laughs> you guys eat popcorn every time I do. The <laughs> the weasel is sniffing around. What okay, that was my whole plan. I don't know about you guys. Are we waiting for it to like detect some? Ma- no, while he's while it's sniffing. All right. Why don't you try to detect some magic? All three of my eyes go <laughs> black. All right. Weird. The <laughs> other eye falls off as you complete the ritual. Yes. I, I, it yes. lands with like a flop, and I'm just like, "What was that?" <laughs> and then, and then I open my eyes to try to see if there's mm. any magical auras. There are. There are powerful auras of abjuration magic radiating, radiating from every doorway. These doorways are magical, but the vines on the floor and the walls don't seem to be. Well, um, I assume that, well, these doors, like, this is the, what I know is the crypt and the vaults, right? Mm. (sighs) Where would your dad likely go? Because I'm starting to think that if he was in a panic and he was willing to risk his life um, to get through these doors, he was trying to protect something. Um, he was p- kind of abandoning and abandoning his own sort of like well-being. What what could be down here? What do you? You remember? hear the golems fighting each other on the other side of the door. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't like the crypts or the the vaults. I assume are closed. Yes, as well. the, the 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 two door the great dolls doors to the vaults are both closed, as are the doors to the crypts. You've never been this way. I'm going to take a guess and say the big double doors, but that's entirely based on just intuition and guessing. If, if they're not locked, and we see that the stone vines are coming from these big doors, correct? Mm-hmm. Yes, intuition. I have a feeling that Intugation. if he Intugation. somehow had gotten affected by delirium, uh, if there's any sign of magic, it, it might be the way to go, but I don't see him getting into the vaults for any specific reason. Maybe I'm wrong, though. I mean, if you were trying to hide, the vaults might be the most protected place. I don't know if my but father was, was ever trying, trying to hide, hide from anything. Yeah. If he ran this way, where else do you think he was going? In a panic, looking wounded. See, I think he was uh, trying to do a last-ditch effort. Veo, I might be I um, you know, projecting, but uh, my father is always about her- heroism, so I assume yours is, too. <laughs> and my father builds armor. I remember. I'm not good at this. What? Did 
long time ago when we were at the garden, did we not hear something about my father protecting the children? I'm trying to think back. Oh, that was, that was that was days ago. That was at least a week and a half ago. <laughs> <That was> like, <laughs> a few weeks ago. <laughs> My memory's not that great. Like, um, the days are kind of blurring together. He months. he would always try to do what's best for Drakenheim. That's what my father did. It's what his whole life was. So if yep. it meant protecting them, I mean, if we can get through these big double doors rather than having to unlock these, then I think that's a, a wiser choice for now. Are there any more giant statues on the sides of these doors? No. The uh, the eyeball has taken root in the stone and um, is turning to stone. Um, but then the eyeball itself is like a piece of marble and it's and uh, like a stone flower with a marble eyeball. It's looking back up at you. Uh, hold on. That used to I be try part of you. really hard to st- see through the eyeball. You're looking back at it. It's what used to be your your extra eyeball, oh, but it's, it's just on, on the ground, and turned it, into stone. it's 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 made. It looks like it's turned to stone, but it is still moving and mobile, like it's a flower made out of stone with an eyeball for a, a plant. Guys, it was part of so me. Creepy. You want to help me try to mage hand the door? I Gerald. Open? Aww. Gerald the third eye. A, I, I'm I'm with you. I could use telekinesis. The on it. One of the vines opens up with almost like flowers opening up, but they're eyes made of various precious stones, and they just watch. Um, guys, I think we need to go through these doors. I'm uncomfortable. I'm like backing up. Are you guys um, out the doors? I'm um, I'm further away, but I want to use my mage hand, and I start to mage hand towards the door to push I'm, it. I, as they're working on the door, I'm super observant to the hallway. I'm mm-hmm. just like backing up towards them. Comrades, we need to use our rings. We have to trust that the seals, th- these are the keys to get in here. If we don't show them, we could be considered intruders. Does that include me? Should I watch our yes. backs? I'm yes. going to pull should out three of us? my ring and I mm-hmm. say to the hallway, I am Pluto Jackson, Castellan of Drakenheim, and I wish you to open... The statue at the end of the hallway starts walking towards you. Hello, I'm Pluto Jackson. You might have heard me just say that I'm the Castellan of Drakenheim. It walks right up to you. Does it talk to him? Talk to it. Hello. And it turns towards the doors. It places its hand on the doors and pushes the door open beyond is a room with a singular altar in its midst and covered in all around the sides in urns each labeled the vines of stone stretch across the floor from a arched doorway on the opposite side of this room that leads into stairs that lead down into the darkness below. The vines reach up from the stairs all around, and as you come into this room, the flowers on them open up, revealing gem-like eyeballs that look, uh, that, that regard you. The rest of this room is, only, only contains the urns of the lesser Von Kessels. And the altar in the middle which contains stone slabs with the names of those who are interred here. As I walk into the room, I flip a gold piece to the doorman, and I thank him. And I'm going to try something. It's going to be weird. I, I kind of kneel down to one of the gem-like eyeballs. Mm-hmm. If this is Veo Senya's father... Blink once and I stare at the eyeball. A moment passes and it blinks. Guys, we need to go down there now. If you want us to go down those stairs, blink twice. 
It does not blink. Now I'm wondering if it just blinked because it's an eyeball. <laughs> like it could just be oh, blinking man. because of its eyeball <laughs> make nature. It could, or it could be my dad, and we're leaving him down there to die if we don't rescue him. Realistically, Are the doors realistically, open? why would a why would a stone eyeball need yeah. to blink? Uh, I don't know. So, Magic, delirium. No, this whole freaking city. That's the point, though. It wouldn't have to blink because it's not a real eyeball. It's a stone eyeball. So the blink has to be. On purpose. Oh, communication. communication. Oh, 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 oh. Do you understand us? Blink twice. It blinks twice. <laughs> okay, it's in it knows it can blink. Guys, we're gonna find my dad. So you don't if you if you don't want us to go down here, blink twice. It blinks twice. We're going down. <laughs> we have to go down. We're going down. Dad, I'm coming! <laughs> and I start running towards the door. As she like goes through the door, I'm just like the we have to follow. That's our guide. I, this is the last time I left my guide alone and died from rats. So I have to follow her. I'm going. The eyeball said, and then you like, you, are you I'm, like I'm gone. I'm I, gone, baby. I like, you hear my voice. and I'm like, catch up. Uh, I turn to the stone man who opened the door and I'm just like, stand guard. Thank you. And I run into the darkness as well. <laughs> it waves. Oh. oh, run down the stairs into the darkness. Um, clunk, I clunk, like, clunk, 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 clunk. I don't clunk. care what happens. I'm finding my dad. Are you like, f- like f- fleeing, like running away? Like we're trying to keep mm-hmm. up with you and I'm calling after you. As like, you rush down. No. Um, yes, but I also want to make sure I'm not too far ahead. So every once in a while I'll be like, come on guys. And I'll keep running. Okay. As you rush down the stairs. It's bad. This is bad. You, um, the streaks of stone vines begin to intermingle with ones with fleshy cables and biological eyes. And as they intermingle with each other, it is almost what you can see is that the ones of stone have coiled around the fleshy ones and choked them off and they've atrophied. But in other places, the ones of flesh are, st- are trying to pry off the stone and pull it down. I'm starting to develop a theory. And I, and I don't think you're going to like it, Vao. I don't want to hear it. I need to find my dad. We need to go. I think we found your dad. No. No. Veo, let's just... I keep running. Be prepared. And... Oh, you're gone. <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bye. I'm just like, no! You come down go. to yep. the stairs. Yep. And the chamber opens up into a massive pillared hall that stretches across the entire foundations of Castle Draken. It is a massive chamber of pillars about 40 feet high and 10 feet thick, interspersed amongst um, uh, each spaced about 20 feet apart. Each of the pillars, a grave marker for a former king or queen of Drakenheim. All of the pillars are engraved with statues marking the deeds of the kings of Drakenheim, whether good or ill. And as you come down, the stone figures writhe, for some of them have turned to flesh. And there is a low, dull moaning as the various forms of the kings play out the images from their lives, filling this hall with a low murmur of, well, a cacophony of murmurs, rages, despair, and otherwise. Stretching down the hall, uh, uh, stretching all down and around the hallways are, and jutting out through the walls, are large shards of delirium leaking with the liquid from up above, which fills, as you come to the base of the stairs, the entire hallway the whole floor is filled to about the knee in this liquid so I put up my arms and I stop at the ba- as you come to the 
the base of the stairs. And you can see out in, into all, all this room. And you can see fluttering between the pillars is this is this floating light. Um, this floating purple, this, uh, this floating light oscillating in all the colors of magic. It's almost like this orb-like figure. Um, this floating orb kind of dancing in and amongst the pillars. If we use our seals, maybe we can calm the murmurs and get a better understanding of what's happening down here. Yeah, but they're, they're not constructs. But it's part of the, the, the foundation of Drakenheim. The f- these things are flesh, though. Some are flesh. Some are stone. Like, maybe we can, maybe just even using the power of the seals, we can maybe hush or settle some of the activity. Do you guys, do you guys remember when we were going to see Lucretia Matthias for the first time and we went into the deep haze and there were just floating body parts and things changing into flesh and glass and yeah. yeah. Does this remind me of that? Yeah. yeah. The in fact the whole hallway is suffused with the deep haze and you breathe it in deeply. I think you guys are still under the effects of Oh no, because you took a short rest. Ah! Oh yeah, Do we there's have any probably more? some vimiting. Vimiting? Yeah. Vim- um, yeah. Do we have any more? I'm. I'm. I think I'm out. I have three potions of Aqua Expergo. Exper- <laughs> we could use them now, but then that means we have to leave the castle the way we came in, which is by air. Then we leave by air. No, uh, it's not like there's a dragon waiting up there for us. Okay, I hand out the two vials to you guys. <laughs> Bottoms up. There goes all three. <laughs> we can teleport out of here too. Ish. At least far enough away from fine. the dragon, but it's either we find my father now or nope. we find my father now. We're here to find my your father. dad. I wanna call out to this purple glowy thing. I stand before you. Castellan of Drakenheim. My name is Pluto Jackson, and I wish you peace in the afterworld. The floating light is this, as it comes down the hallways, it's massive. It's a sphere, a corona of delirium light. And as it comes closer and down the central path of pillars, the creature before you is this writhing mass of kingly heads all bearing crowns. And all of them are like merged into each other and it's like this form of stone but mostly flesh boiling over and out from each comes these long ten long stalks upon which is a head bearing a crown where one of the eyes of each head has bulged out into gargantuan size almost and the rest of the head kind of just dangles down and the other eye has fallen out of the sockets and in the middle of this orb of heads as it comes forward a jaw opens up and it's a jaw of shards of delirium and bits of crowns and bone and a central eye opens up massive and wide shot through with purple delirium energy and as it looks at you you feel all the magic drain from your presence it screams what do you do 
I think we should have listened to your dad. (laughs) I've never done that in my life, and I won't start now. (laughs) You only have a moment to decide. What are you going to do? Let's focus. Ring focus. Fire. I don't think this is a construct of the castle. It's got some things. I start to back up. The ring's magic doesn't answer. Oh, it's okay. We should The light of Ignatius is suppressed. (gasps) All magic is drained and powerless. As guys, it, guys, we need to... I'm useless. We need to back up. Seb- Sebastian, we need to protect you. We should just... I feel back. really weak. Oh my just, God. It screeches again, ah, and it closes its main eye, and you feel the magic bristle as oh, the long stalks jut forward. <laughs> And energies of purple, green, octarine, blue begin to gather in the in the large bulging yeah, eyes. We're just gonna run. So I'm gonna just grab Sebastian. Yeah. And okay. as you r- turn run. to run, each of you can roll a d10. Oh. <laughs> Four. Seven. Four. Okay. Two fours. Mm-hmm. And a, a seven. seven. Those of you that rolled fours make dexterity save. All of you make uh, uh, make dexterity, and Sebastian, you make a wisdom saving throw. No. Twenty three. You succeed. Fifteen. You fail. Nineteen. You succeed. Ugh. As Sebastian turns to run, oh, you're a half elf. Are you? Are half elves immune to sleep? Yes. Magic can't put me to sleep. <laughs> Oh, you got hit with the sleep ray. It can't put you to sleep. <laughs> I am woozy. I'm fine. I'm fine. Ooh, what was As that? These waves it's of just energy. you're drunk from the wine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He just wants to keep partying. <laughs> um, I, I'm, I'm determined to see my father, but I say, we know where we need to come. Let's get up the stairs. And I'm angry about it. But what if this is your father? This is not my father. This Are is not you- my father. Her dad. I don't want to hear the answer. Blink Go. nine times and if you're... <laughs> I'm like, I've turned my back already. I'm like, no, it's not my father. And I run up the stairs. I'm not... Um, I'm, not I'm following I'm, her. I'm, uh, <laughs> I just run after. I, I like I like start to try to talk to it, but then I see that they're running and I just turn and I start running okay. as well. You flee back up the stairs. I go um, to one of the eyeballs and I say, was that you? You have to say how many blinks you want. <laughs> it's really like, important. If that was one you. One blink. One blink. Was that you? One blink for yes or one blink? For yes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like incoherently just yelling yeah. at this eyeball. <laughs> I, behind her, I'm like one blink for yes, two for no. It one blinks for yes. twice. Oh, okay, good. Good, 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 good. Where are you? Oh, yeah, you can't answer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I like shove Bayo, Bayo out of the way to, and I'm like Bayo, you just need to take a breath. If we kill that thing, will it help you? It yeah. blinks once for yes. Let's go murder that thing. <laughs> okay, we need to prepare better. This time we're not gonna go down. Okay, okay, okay. We need to save your father. I'm like shaking, I'm like, let's go kill the thing! We can kill it. I know we can kill it. Let's go kill it. Bayo, what are you best at? Shooting things! <laughs> Eating! Before you met us, you were able to survive in this city by being sneaky. Yes. I really want to get the drop on this thing. Yes. Because if it sees us, it's a problem. Let's be sneaky. So this time we can't run down the stairs screaming. We want to be sneaky. Do you want me to pass without a trace? Do you guys want to be sneaky? Do you want me to go down and be invisible? I, can just I have options. I here if that's easier for everyone. I can just wait. <laughs> I'll wait in the corner with the eyes. But magic doesn't work have around you guys it. Run, are you on the stairs or have you run back up to the first room? I think up. we ran back up to... Okay. Like the we're, first eyeball. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's the second eyeball. Oh, um, we could bring a friend. What? We could bring one of the, the protectors. Well, yeah. I don't or actually, know. would the magic just... How did know. you feel when, when it looked at again, you? But. Ignatius if, turned off. I never really see him turn off anymore. Magic doesn't work around it. I felt... Is that what a normal person feels like? <laughs> God, how do you... You were a normie. I do magic. You... I don't know what you're talking about. One of us. One of like, me. Just like me. Is that why you like work out so much? To try to make yourself feel 
slightly powerful. Hey, watch it now. <laughs> hey. Man, that was... Hey. It felt gross. Could we? Okay. <gasps> Guys, okay. could we... Oh, that, no, that's magic. If it goes further away, could we teleport past it? It, it Okay. Why don't we distract it? From so, so bear in mind that at the at starting at the base of the stairs in that entire level, about eighteen inches of the delirium sludge yeah. covers the entire floor. Can you? Can we walk on water? Can you do uh, otherworldly divine water, tricks? <laughs> don't don't give me the wave of the hands. Can you do it or not? <laughs> One blink <laughs> means yes. Two blinks <laughs> means no. <laughs> I have one vial of black goo. <laughs> what if we mix it? Mix it up a bit. I have... Ooh. Oh, we throw the goo at it? <laughs> <laughs> For uh, Stan! Do we, do we still have some of that? I have one vial of black goo. I mean, plan B. Plan A? <laughs> no. Um, I can't make... I can... We can... I have one potion that will let me breathe underwater. <laughs> I mean, this might be the perfect time to use it. You can swim past it. Wait, what if we distract we're it? we're on aqua delirium? No, not aqua delirium. Sorry. Okay. We are three powerful heroes. Okay. We're Draken Force. What if we make a triangle around the being so it can only look at one of us at a time? <laughs> You might be onto something. I mean, I, I know I'm onto something. I'm goddamn it, I'm Blue Jackson. Either that or he's on something. <laughs> You're the greatest monster slayer in the world. I am. That's this me. Is, have you ever seen a monster like this? No, but I've never met a monster I haven't killed yet either. So it's just waiting to die downstairs. And I mean, you didn't kill the Lord of the Feast directly. I'm, you you know didn't what? kill the executioner. All right, mystical narrator. Okay, you, you, said, <laughs> you didn't kill. People have been talking a lot of trash about Pluto Jackson lately, and I'm ready to murder something. Guys, 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 can we ask uh, Eldrick if he's seen anything like this before? Maybe he knows of some sort of weakness of this thing. Eldrick. I just want to go killing. Yes. Uh, have you ever seen an amalgamation of many kings turned into a giant orb of light with ten heads like eyes. eyes and a giant eye in the middle and sharp delirium teeth that uh, reduces all magic in the area when it looks at you? That sounds like an abomination. I have never seen or heard of anything like that on this earth. Yeah. Uh, any tips for killing one? Um, well, I'll tell you how to kill it when it's dead. We can't Come on, use friends. Music when, or music. <laughs> magic when it looks at us. What do you mean? It, like the magic just goes out. We don't have access. Well, I'm to it. fresh out of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, it, guys. We're on our own on this one, oh. and I say we do what we do best. That creature. Oh yes. <laughs> do, do you know where it came from? What it is? What manner of beast it is? I'm working on theories here, but it might be all of the kings of Drakenheim <laughs> merged into one thing with lots of ten things coming out of its head with one giant eyeball. An aberration, a beast, an abomination, something beyond our world entirely. It is terrifying to yeah. behold, Er. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything that used to live in the catacombs or that know nothing of the catacombs of Castle Draken? Who else do we have online? <laughs> no, guys, we're not getting anything. This oh, is, man. Oh, this, the shade. This is a one-of-a-kind monstrosity. Yeah, but delirium turns things from things. It's the corpses in the crypts turned into this. Look, the the more we're talking about it, the less we're killing it that we could use to kill it to talk about it after. I'm yeah. really just... I, I like wanted. Pluto's plan. Let me we shoot split it. up. We split up. Let it can only look at one of us at a time. It's gonna suck. Are we gonna go into the delirium goop? Oh, that's a good question. What if we lure it? Can you turn into a wait, giant eagle? <laughs> wait. If he makes me anti-magic and the delirium goop maybe makes me more magic, maybe I'll just explode. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... I have no idea what's going to happen, guys. I like I'm, the math on that. Yeah, I... It, what, what about the Staff of Power? Can it do any hilarious... I still say we you know with the rings don't do anything. Other than the goop on the ground, is there anywhere like climbing wise on the side? Oh of the yeah, walls? there's all the pillars, which are kind of writhing and animate. 
Cool, cool, cool. All right. Uh. So they're going to squirm when we touch them, probably, right? <laughs> they're ticklish. Yeah, they're just ticklish pillars. Okay. That's just normal. That's <laughs> just weird and normal. I, I was a bounty hunter for years. I got sent on crazy missions to kill rogue mages. And you know what I did every single time? Killed the mages? Yeah, and I was just winged it the entire time. I said I had a plan. And I would always just go in and kind of just figure it out as it went along. It's what I'm best at. I always almost die. All right, but... But I make it. But we have to have... If we're going to go in and wing it, we need an exit strategy. <laughs> That's actually the smartest thing one of us has said in probably the last 15 minutes. Who cares about what we do when we get in there? We just need to know when to get out. Is will Were they, there any windows down there? No, it's underneath it's the, the crypt. earth. We're in the basement. I'm just... This is this place is not up to fire code, okay? <laughs> yeah, there's not proper exits. There is so I guess our windows. escape plan is we run. Yeah, run, run teleport, sneak- save your teleportation. I, I like the idea of sneaking past it. Oh, we can, we can try sneaking up to it. I can magically oh, and then sneak into nuking it. Oh okay. no! I mean, if we could sneak past it, that would be best. But. What if we blow up the bomb in the underside of the castle? What if we blow up my dad? Let's not blow up anything okay. down there, please. All right. okay. that, that's plan C. First, you throw the goo. If that doesn't work, then we blow the bomb. Cool. No. <laughs> Bail. Yes Let's to plan A, no to plan B. I shoot it with my arrows. Can't be that hard to kill. Uh, why would it, do, we're only going down there because your dad told us not to go down there? Yeah, I just want to make that very clear. We're going down just there. Avoid, we're just ignoring your the, dad. The right eyeball now. just said if we kill it, it will help him. Yes, we need to help him. Okay, we have to help him. Okay, hold on. Eyeball, dad. Eyeball. I fail. <laughs> Um, Mr. Senya. Mr. No, that's Mr. not his name. Oh. His, his real name is Johan Eisner. Mr. Eisner. Captain Eisner. Oh, eyes. No, I get it now. Eisner. Y'all Sorry, being so rude going. to my dad right now. Just keep going. Mr. Eisner. Do you know Lord. how we can kill this thing? Blink once for yes, twice for no. It blinks twice. Do Dad, you on. do you have can you see down there? It blinks once for yes. Are there any good vantage points for us to take to get the drop on it? Um it blinks once for yes after waiting a while. If I go in that purple goop, is it bad? It blinks once for yes. We just took the Aqua Expergo. Maybe that'll help. Any anything else? We we can only ans- ask yes or no questions. You here. can be a giant eagle. Can you fly? I'm not as strong. Is there any delirium in the room? In the room that you are currently huge in, huge yeah. amounts. There is not any in the room you are currently in, but there are shards of delirium jutting through the walls down there. Down there. Because I can blow it up, but I don't want to blow anything up with the chance of hurting my dad. I go to my dad and say, "If I blow up the delirium, will you be hurt?" Um, he, um, oh, blink three times for I don't know. He blinks three times. Ah, okay, no, we can't take that chance. We have to do something. Not blow up my dad. No. Does that mean that we just have to fight this thing? Okay, when we went down there, were there like things like rocks and stuff that we could hop? On? There were not. There so were the pillars just... jutting up out, out with all the statues and writhing body, can bodies. Can you make us? What's the like, I you can, can make climb us all again. levitate. Yeah. Like if I climbed with my it claws on us, we the fall. walls, is there anything there? Oh yeah, like the all of the surfaces down there are carved in carvings. Or the delirium, like the all the walls are eminently climbable, mm. from what you from what you saw. Mm. It's just that they're eminently mm. cli- climbable and also extraordinarily dangerous. Guys, why don't I take my potion of invisibility? I go down, I scout it out. I can telepathically let you know what I see. Okay, and as just, long as that thing doesn't see me. Yeah, as long as it doesn't look at you, I think we'll be fine. Okay. Um, I'm also thinking maybe you um, can distract it with some like. Sounds. Or what if we got it to lure it? I have an idea Can we to lure distract it? it. I have the deck of illusions. I don't know what you're going to pull out of it. But if you need to distract it, 
throw one of these cards. Giant weasel, you listen. You listen <laughs> to Veo now. Veo master. How about <laughs> Veo you keep, master? You keep the deck and you do an illusion if it sees me. Because if it's seeing me, do you want me to come with you? Then it's not. Yeah, come to the bottom of the stairs. But like, okay, all right. Um, what I'm thinking is like if you can do even like a minor illusion somewhere else along the cavern. Yeah, that might be something to scare it. I'm with you. Okay, Pluto. Are you going to come down and watch? I will. Or are you like maybe halfway up the stairs? Yeah, like be within eyesight, but as far back as possible. I mean, I can just... We have telepathic bond. I mean, I, I if, if... Are we sneaking around? Yes. Yeah. This okay. is a... Uh, this is, this is us. We're trying to gather intel on, on the on the battle room, as we're going to okay, call I'll it. Wait. I'll wait right. at the top of the stairs. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to take this potion of invisibility. And... I'm going, Sneaky sneak. I'm going to cast, uh, I think, in my ring. Oh, wait, actually, before you I'm going to cast Greater Invisibility on myself. Okay, Greater Invisibility only lasts one minute. Okay, I'm going to wait. Okay. I'm going to cast, before I take my potion, hmm. Pass Without Trace. Okay. okay. So at least it gives us a little bit more sneaky yeah. quietness. And then I take my potion of invisibility. Okay. And I grab Sebastian's hand so he knows where I am. <laughs> And I say, let's go. Okay. Let me start to Pluto, down. where are you going? Uh, I'm going to wait at the top of the stairs okay. so I can see the landing. Okay. The stairs go down a few times, so there's se- there's several landings, and they go down a hallway, and then the, it c- comes out. So I'm going to stand at the uh, back enough that I can see Sebastian if he's standing like on the okay. main platform before the goo. So okay. you come down part of the way. So yeah. as soon as you come down that far, so there's one last landing before the stairs come down, and then there's like landing, landing, then goo. Yeah. By that point, the fleshy tendrils have begun. And as you come down to that point, the eyes, the the, te- the fleshy tendrils sprout eyes that watch, but they watch Sebastian. Veo, you can tell they can't see you. I notice this, and I'm like, we're gonna have one minute. We're gonna have one minute. Okay. Yeah. If you need to go back up, go back up. I can mm. always scream for help in my least, head. I can, le- I can at least get down there, cast Minor Illusion, get it to look away. I'm doing this telepathically. Yeah. And give you a chance to scout, okay? Yep. I cast Greater Invisibility on myself. Okay. All right. I start to go down and I start to, on the entrance of the cavern, I first peek around to see if I can see the floaty orby bulb guy. Yeah, it's gone back up into the higher parts of the pillars. Okay. The, the room itself down here is about 50 feet high. Okay. Uh, you're not going to have pass that trace as soon as I leave, so keep that in mind. Don't move. Okay. Um, I start to climb across the walls. Okay, and you have a climb speed. I do. Yep. So the walls all around the outside are, um, in many places, the rock has burst through, but these corded tendrils of either flesh or stone or even the shards of delirium and the rough walls mean that the walls are quite climbable and with your climb speed you have no problem climbing across them at times some of the hands of the statues like there are statues in here of kings and on the outer walls they're not the kings they're the king's family members Mm. or others that were treasured to to them but some of them, the statues themselves, have turned into flesh partway through. And some of them, the stone doesn't animate, and some of it, it does. There's like even patches of flesh that just have been exposed. As you come across, climb across one, your hand causes the chest of one of the statues to crumble away, and there's a beating heart underneath it. Meat apple. Uh, from <laughs> from the doorway, uh, can I see... So I'm, I'm looking at the tops of the pillars. Are there any that look like they're not fleshy, gross, grabby spots? Like anywhere that I could stand? Um, there's several spots that you could probably perch and not have to worry too much about falling if you were perched there as long as something didn't hit you or, or, or impact you in some way. But you'd, have to, you'd still have to climb up to them. Theo. Right, and you'd have to climb up, and because the pillars are about fifteen feet apart from each other, you'd have to climb up the wall, push off, and leap across. How far away are they? The pillars are fifteen feet apart from each other. I might be able to get to a vantage point. Feet apart from the wall. 
But if I try, uh, there's a chance of wild magic. I can... My staff can cast levitate, and I could propel myself towards a vantage point, and then we could get Pluto down here and can try Pluto to get the drop on something? it. Sorry? Can't Pluto levitate something? I just... Is this, is this a fight? Only objects. Oh. Is this a good fight? Is this going to be... Are we... Are we doing this? I'm still scouting out to see, but I just want to see if there's anything like, as I go in, other than getting a vantage point on this thing, are there any other corridors or caverns or ways that I can go towards where I might consider my father to be? Um, so you're climbing around and you're invisible. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so you've come out from the, from the doorway and this pillared hall encompasses the entire un- underground. So looking around you can see there's there's fleshy forms and bodies all over the, these these pillars but at the center um of the room on the north side where the tower stair is is one great pillar as you look around that is unlike all the others for it is a pillar you can see from it it is a pillar of solid stone. Solid stone. Yes, it is the only pillar in this entire room that does not appear. Like, you, you can only... Like, you look through it and, and you... Uh, uh, I'll roll perce- perception for you, but as you look, look around, you can see through the light around it, it is one pillar where all the statues... There, there actually aren't statues on it. It is a naked pillar um, that looks like it might be covered in some kind of writing from this distance. And it is the pillar that literally it would be the pillar holding up the tower stair and it is made of solid stone. Do I see coming from the pillar anything like those stone tendrils? Um, the the tendrils of stone are reach are as you look at the top of it and the bottom of it, there are tendrils of stone and the the sludge is watching up against the bottom of it, and several of these the tendrils of flesh are trying to encroach upon it, but they they cannot. There seems to be there's the surface of the pillar is somewhat rough and almost bulby in some way. It's difficult to tell from this distance because you don't have perfect a perfect line of sight to it from with the other pillars. You'd have to get mu- I much can get closer. closer to it though. Yeah, you can try, guys. There's. One of these things is not like the others. <laughs> and, uh, One of these things just doesn't belong. Yeah. I'm going to try to get closer to it. Be careful. To see what's going on. But it looks like these stone tendrils are keeping this fleshy weirdness away. Is um, is the giant orb monster... It's just floating around. But is it like near that pillar? It... it- it just seems to be bobbing around through 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 the pillars, moaning. Uh, the the low moaning is still going on throughout this this whole room, and it just kind of drones. Oh, I've got your back. If you if it if it notices you, I'm going to cause a distraction. Don't worry. Okay, I try to get closer to the stone. Okay. How are you going to go across? Are you going to leap from pillar to pillar, or are you going to go along the outer wall? Outer wall, okay. as if it's. If I can climb across it, yes. Okay. Give me a stealth check and an acrobatics check. Forty-two for my stealth. Well, you need it. You need it. You need the forty-two. You needed the forty-two. Good. It's got so many eyes. <laughs> um, and then acrobatics. Mm-hmm. Uh, 25. What? Okay. Yeah, 25. You make your way across the room, climbing across the moaning forms of the onlookers from beyond. All of these mournful watchers regarding the grim fate of what has befallen the crypts of Drakenheim. As you come towards the, um, the pillar uh, at the base of the ca- uh, at the base of the stair, you can see that um, the this pillar of marble shot through with streaks of black and covered in 
engravings in what might even be dwarven um is has shards and flecks of delirium stabbing into it that almost that each of the pieces of delirium that is embedded in into it it looks like almost that the pieces of delirium this marble itself is uh, kind of squeezing on them like a wound trying to heal and as where the sludge comes up against the base of it and the fleshy tendrils come up against it it's almost like a cauterized wound or an infection kind of red and thick and weeping like a sore and on the pillar um as you look at the pillar and the the bumpy mass with these dwarven runes written across it you realize that the pillar itself is actually the shape of a man holding up the the top of 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 the pillar he, and you can see that he's like the wounds are in in his body himself and the whole of him has turned to stone and as you look the eyes of the stone figure open up and you see the face of your father. Oh my god. I it takes everything in me not to yell out. I go up to him and I just like touch his face and I I just say Dad. And the a voice whispers You're invisible. Yeah. So he can't see you. He says, My ears? Do they deceive me? Is that you, Vale? You've gotten old. You've grown up. I, I'm i here to save you, Dad. What? I... In my head, I say, Guys, my dad is here. I see him. What do you need us to do? I don't know what to do. He's he's stuck here. It looks like he's... I'd hoped that you'd come. That I'd hear your voice. I've been fighting for so long. I'm trying to hold it up. But I can't hold it. I can't hold it much longer. I say, you keep holding this up. We're here to save you. It keeps growing. It just keeps growing. Guys, he need he needs help. He needs to get out of here. What do, what do you want us to do? Dad, how can I get you out of here? I don't know. Just something happened to the king on the throne. It's up there in the throne room. It f- it's trying to kill me, but I fight for so long. The throne and this pillar. It's the head and the heart. And I gave myself to it. I tried to stop his will. I tried to stop him from, from taking control. And I thought if I could hold for much longer, and I kept holding, and I kept holding, till I turned to stone. And I've been here for so long. I never thought I'd hear your voice again. Well, you're gonna keep hearing it because we're gonna get you out of here. You need to keep holding on. Who's controlling this place? Something's happened to the king. Do we need to go to the throne room? Is that more important than what this, is this thing? causing any trouble or is it the throne room do we it's need to the go throne there? room maybe we can save him by stopping what's in the throne room no but not for long it won't it won't hold I've been trying to fight it but it's it just feels so strong You're the strongest man I know. You keep holding on until we can get you out of here. If he stops holding that pillar, is this whole place going to collapse? 
The city is counting on you to, to keep this going until we can figure out what's going on. We haven't been able to get in here in 15 years. Oh. 15 years. Is that all it's been? 15 years. That's all? That's... It felt like I've been here for an age of the earth. Fighting. Every minute like a thousand years. Guys, we need to get him help now. Eldrick! I shouted in my head. Eldrick! There's what? weird magic going on here. I found my father, but he's stuck in this castle. Wait. Your your father is in is in the castle. He needs help. I need more information. I can't I can't help you, Veo, if you can't he's, tell me what's going he's on. He's part of this pillar. He's turning to stone. He says that the king is doing something. I think the king is causing all Are of this. Are you safe? Are you in danger? I'm safe for now, but my father's in danger. I need to save him. We need time to think. We need time to plan. He doesn't have time! If you do something reckless, you might break any chance he has. Don't. I know it. You must feel terrible, Vale. And the voice sounds out and says, The hell? If you're here, if you're here, you've got to go. You can't stay here. It's not safe for you. The Watcher, it will see you. It will find you. It will kill you. I'm not leaving without knowing that I can come back to get you. It. You have to destroy it. You have to kill whatever's on the throne. And then, I can hold till then. I've been holding for 15 years. I can hold for another 15 if I had to. Fail, get out of there. We can save him if we at least try to stop the thing on the throne. You gotta get out of there now. We're gonna go to the throne. He's room. doing what's if right for If you promise me you will keep trying, I will leave you here now, but I'm I, coming back I to will. get you. There's something up on the... There's something up on the throne. Something's happened there. There's like a... It's like a mind. It's like a mind underneath it all. Like a mind underneath the castle veil. Fighting through the key, through whoever's on that throne. Whoever's on that throne is gone. It's like this other mind, and I'm trying. I'm trying to fight it back, but it, it just wants to hold everything in its grasp. I will burn it down to save you. I'll be back. And I touch his face one more time, and I run to climb across. Okay, give me a stealth and an acrobatics check. Ooh. Uh, 38 stealth. Wow. I have like an auto 22 right now because wow. I'm past without trace. So. Uh, and then acrobatics. Uh, 17. Okay. You manage to leap across the walls and get back to where Sebastian is. I'm still invisible. <laughs> You swing your arm wildly. I grab you by, like, your collar, and I start dragging you up. Wait, you're invisible, too. <laughs> Where is everyone? <laughs> like, <laughs> guys, I'm so scared. I use my telepathy. I say, Sebastian, I'm back. Let's get out of here. And I know what we do need to do to save my dad. Theo. And I'm, like, looking around. Are, up the stairs, are, now. Are you okay? <laughs> my dad is here suffering for 15 years. I'm not Okay. You want to head to the throne room? If we go up there, I think we're going to need more support. I think it's the thing that's keeping everybody out. And I think it's the thing that's causing so much chaos and darkness in this castle. So what? what is the next move, Veo? I think if we go up there, we need to see and not enter and figure out what's our next step to take over this castle but we need to do it soon and now it's fighting my father and it's gonna kill him and take over this castle if we don't go soon okay lead the way 
and I run up the stairs and poke Guys. Pluto in the face as we go by. <laughs> ah. As I run by, I grab Pluto's arm. And <laughs> it's been a minute. Uh, yeah, I probably, like, as I'm yeah. grabbing Pluto, I it's snap It's been out. far longer than a minute. Oh, yeah. oh okay. I, I, oh, I haven't been <laughs> invisible for about I'm still nine invisible. Or ten minutes. I, get, I get an hour. <laughs> I, oh, boy. All, all the eyes are looking at me. I yeah, uh, run up me. into, like, the, the, the um, first room with the stone mm. pillars, and I just, like, I, I'm like, I need a minute, and I just, like, crumple to the ground. I run to her side, and I'm, like, hand on her back. We pet you. I knew if he was here, it would be bad, but n- n- not that bad. We're going to do whatever it takes, Vale. We're going to figure it out. But we need to do it quickly. He's suffering. Then let's go. Where is she? I can't. <laughs> what are you touching? <laughs> I'm still invisible. How do you touch it? <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm petting an eye. <laughs> like, stop that. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Trying to be comforting. I, I, I become uninvisible. Oh, there you are. Let's... Can't, should we go to the throne room? Veo, I we, want to help your father. We need He's doing what he needs to do to protect Drakenheim. He's buying us more time. Yes, but he's fading fast and this thing is getting stronger. I think we should... We need to scout it out. Okay. All right. Let's get out of here and up the stairs. And up. I hope those uh, two statues are finished. <laughs> yeah, I guess we have to like take over the doors again, don't yeah, we? Okay. Yeah. yeah, so we like And I with my most booming voice, I Oop. In the name of the king, I Veosenia, the Lord Commander of Drakenheim, command you to open. Mm-hmm. We the only doors really need open more. back up. Oh, I did. And uh oh. the uh, after their wrestling match, the two golems are back in their positions. Uh they wrestled a little bit, you know, it was a friendly match, and they're 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 back resting. And as you come through the doors, slam shut, and uh, one of the gargoyles beeps up. Didn't like what you had to see down there, did you? Do you know? But come on, no. But I can tell by the look on your face. Is this why they call you butts? Because you're always like butt, or is it because? No, nah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the second but, thing. The second thing you were gonna say. Uh, I'm stalling. Veo, we need to go. Now. Bye. Now. You two keep an eye out. Three, keep an eye out. Special you, butts. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we go up the stairs uh, in okay. the room. Okay. You take the stairs up. They spiral up one level. Leading to a door, which would open out onto the main level of Castle Draken. Do you want to take that door or continue going upward? Where's the throne room? Fourth floor. But we need to get to the big... is accessible from both the fourth floor and the fifth floor. As Vale recalls, there is a balcony we want that the rings, floor. rings the top and... Yeah, fifth floor. For a vantage point. Yes. Okay. All right, I'm going all the way up. Um, but from this staircase, we have to go over to the grand staircase. Correct? Or can we do it from this one? You can get up. You can get there from here. Okay. Up. It's leg day. Go. We start to run up the stairs. <laughs> Why are you singing? Clunk, 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 okay. clunk, clunk, clunk. So, uh, sorry. <laughs> That's just what my sound is. You're, <laughs> you're naturally going to yell Sebastian. Thanks. <laughs> oh, Sebastian. we're technically, I think we're still uh, uh, passing without trace. Um, oh, good. But okay. key, key. doesn't mean you should be singing. <laughs> no, that was my armor was making that sound. Soft oh, was it? <laughs> yeah, that was my armor. Soft clunk. Okay. I'm trying. The. Stairs lead up, and the door opens into a wide hallway, about as wide as before. The, as you, as wide as before. The hallway, at the end of the hallway, though, is a massive stained glass window, tinted green and purple, and as an effigy before the stained glass window here is... In clad of flesh and bone is a statue of a demonic figure. The hallway extends down 
and uh, as you come through the doorway, you can see the top of the spiral staircase. And the spiral stair actually continues from here. It keeps going up. The roof along this point is pointed, and you, you can see the rafters going across up to the, the rooftop from here, because now this is the, the highest accessible level of the castle until you go up the towers. Beside you, uh, along this hallway are several couches and benches along the sides of the room, and there is splatters of blood and gore all across the floors, and there are reaching all around, coming out from underneath the doors down the hallway, are fleshy, rotting tentacles, like vines, all through the hall. Through this way, there are five doors on the eastern wall and a short hallway that leads to a set of double doors on the western wall which would lead into the throne room that is where the mass of tentacles and flesh comes from and we're on the fifth floor you're on the fifth floor so there's the throne room balcony Mm -hmm. and the royal apartments gotta check out the back balcony I can I can wait in the hallway if you want to be sneaky. In the hallway, there's a statue of the demon. This one is actually rather different than the one that you've seen before. This one has almost a bovine face. And where the other statues, some of the other statues that you'd seen were all had big pot bellies, this one is the the chest muscles and the abs of several creatures have been layered over almost built like a muscular chest um and the where the other demonic statues that you've usually seen are very flabby and muscular and rotting this one is actually is muscular instead buff yeah and it has a prominent set of of horns on it like a minotaur Uh, yeah Guys, I'm starting to think that uh, they're all the same demon. Just depends on who worships them. The rat god. Orcus. This thing. Could just be one and the same. It's corrupting the creatures of Drakenheim. Anything that the delirium has touched. Anything that will listen to it. A voice whispers out. One many oh Was that your was that your dad? Uh that was not my dad. He's such a was that, he's a more soft. Did it come voice. from the statue? Yeah. Where is the statue? I turn to look at the statue and I just say Orcus. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, guys, I made it. I, there, I, it was a mistake. There was a mistake. I, an incident. Um, <laughs> What's the worst thing? What happen? can we call you if it's not your brother's name? In that guttural voice that I'm not going to do again because <laughs> it will kill my voice, it replies, I am Lord of Beasts. This is my feasting hall. Guys, we have multiple demons. <laughs> <laughs> Life is so much easier with one demon. Yeah, I, I thought I could handle one demon. Now, now there's at least two. I think your brother is trying to encroach on your territory with this whole Lord of Beasts thing. Have you mm. seen outside here? Yes. This has been quite a game our brothers and sisters have played with this playground. Sisters? Oh boy. Um, we need somebody who knows about... My brother would have you think he's mastermind of it all. (laughs) Oh man, we have issues. And in my head, I'm just... Like, 
Uh, Eldrick! <laughs> we have a problem. Who do we know that knows lots about demons? <laughs> Lucretia <laughs> Matthias, maybe? Yeah, she's... maybe. Um... This is outside the looking into the main room. Correct? You're in the hallway in in the grand. So each floor has a great hall that is all on top of each other. Yeah. That connects to the great staircase. And so this room, if you take the doors to the east, you'll be going through the royal apartments. And if you take the double doors to the west, you'll be on the balcony of the throne. Room. Okay. So we're not even in the balcony yet. I mean, do you want to go look or do you want to keep uh, talking to... Uh Orcus's brother. What's our uh, what's our policy towards destroying effigies? I mean, pretty strong. Are we f- are we for? I just don't I'm wanna, for it. I don't want to call anything that. Yeah, I'm. I I don't know what's going on in this castle. I'm like, does it know that we're like if we just walk in the hall, it just sends all the like it told us that the, the feasting hall, right? What are you feasting on here, Lord of Beasts? Maybe you. Mm. 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 And you hear a thud. Oh boy. Coming from the royal apartments. The doorways sh- begin to shake and All shudder. Well, I only have one immovable rod, so. <laughs> um, let's <laughs> work our way back towards the great staircase of safety. Mm. The doors to the throne room begin to shake and shudder as well. Guys. As the voice says, Yes, run. I love a good hunt. And that's where we're on for tonight. Oh! No! No! Uh. Um, I want to thank Tabletop Audio. <laughs> <laughs> for uh, creating the ambient music that is going to be our crypt and tomb forever. Um, <laughs> if you want to elevate your game <laughs> and die to your own soundtrack, uh, check it out at tabletopaudio.com. It's all free and it's all there for you. Did you just skip a whole... Skip. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So well, from the top... Um, <laughs> we can fix it in post, guys. It's okay. It's okay. Um... <laughs> Uh, thank you, as always, to our wonderful cast, Kelly, Jill, and Joe, for playing. A very emotional and stressful and scary evening. Uh. <laughs> and a huge thank you to Kyle for all of his efforts behind the scenes, bringing you that beautiful music and soundtrack, the camera switching, making sure that our uh, shots looked good tonight, and uh, just being generally the most handsome float in hand around. And then you would say. And then I do all my tabletop audio stuff. <laughs> They're really awesome. Check them out. Tabletopaudio.com. Of course, don't forget to take a look at the links below for all your favorite Dungeon Dudes merch. All of our cool t-shirts. You can find them at bit.ly slash Dungeon Dudes merch. If you're enjoying the stream and want to help support our work, please check us out on Patreon. You can find it, it, find it by following the links in the description below or at patreon.com slash dungeon underscore dudes. We also have a phenomenal Discord community exclusive to our patrons where you can uh, join us and chat about all the crazy stuff happening in the campaign, talk to us about just D&D stuff in general, or just uh, check out some of the crazy memes and GIFs and cat photos and all the other fun stuff that we get up to in the Discord. Check it out. Kelly and I post new videos every Thursday on our YouTube channel where we cover everything Dungeons and Dragons, including advice for dungeon masters and guides for players. You'll find our episode this week is a really fun one. Yeah, it was uh, tips for the time saving yeah. prep tips for <gasps> the busy dungeon master. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So we kind of go into our secrets of how we, oh, we need prep game sessions on the fly. Uh, I think Helps. tonight, you know, th- th- this is an example from, from like a tip of the episode is like, this is one of those dividend type t- night, nights because I only had to set up the Dwarven Forge for tonight because I'd put in a lot of time to sign a castle track. So it's like I kind of get an easy run to the finish line for, the, for this bit because I've, because you know, you put the time in, but sometimes yeah. you don't have the time to do that. So talk about that there. 
Be sure to join us live next Tuesday when we record the campaign live on Twitch. Check us out at 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Time at twitch.tv slash dungeon underscore dudes. You can also watch the video episodes of the show on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time in the Dungeons of Drakenheim. Drakenheim.